All right, so here's what we're gonna do when we do the VOD. We're gonna pretend like we started right here. Roll for initiative, because we are live! Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here we are. Wow. There, the there was, there was oh, definitely wow. not- Much better this time. There was definitely not a giant. It's already clipped. A, a giant clipped. part where the DM, uh, the GM walked out um, and had to, uh, you know, go pick his nose. So. The hell is a Gundam master? <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all ready for this shit? No, no, no sir. Great, that's the answer I was waiting for. Yes. What? How do you feel about that? Huh? Mm -hmm. You confused him. Confused him. <laughs> it was super effective. I don't remember which track we were doing, but I'll do this one. He hurt bum, himself bum, in his bum, confusion. Bum, 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 He's gonna hurt us in his confusion. <laughs> He's more likely. Oh, is that's, this one? I mean, Hang that's on. usually. I think what happens. it hits that short and badly sung as DMC free. That might be loud. Sorry. The keys to bad things. He is calm. Olog's words fill the brief moment with trepidation, but there's the only smallest of silences before <laughs> the walls of the arena burst apart like pebbles in the wake of a hurricane. Spectators go hurling through the air, scattering across the grounds of the arena. You watch as a band of orcs brandish weapons. One of them jumps for uh, Olog, this 14 foot tall orc. He has blue gray skin, veins bulging, muscles surging. You can see this sort of deformed bulbousness to his muscles to where where they would naturally grow and show strength are now like exceeding the point of, of natural size. Um, he is covered in scars um, all across his front, jagged wounds that have healed over um, and he has this blood fury in his eyes. One of the orcs from the uh, from the stadium jumps off with like a two-handed cleave, and you watch as uh, Uthrag snatches him. As you do, you notice that his left hand is massively swollen and thick and bulbous. You can see spider web-like veins in it. It turns from gray blue to purple as he. Oh fuck! And the orc <laughs> turns to paste between his fingers. Is that the hearing? He just steps once and the entire arena trembles. Um, I need everyone to go ahead and roll initiative. No. Oh, no. no. Uh, One second. Double I dropped it, didn't count. Oh. Oh. Oh my. I am frightened and on the move. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh roll my. Roll the 19. <laughs> I'm ready to go. All right, 35 to 30. Uthrog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ever, um, I forgot to roll for... His fury gives him the quick. His fury, <laughs> he, he has fury. Um, then we've got um, Oleg. All right, everyone else. 28. All right. 25. 22. Cordelia. <laughs> 20. Yeah. 21. Brooks. Oh, oh and Wesley, Ernie. Wesley. You, did, you didn't trust. I know. Ernie and Kai's last. Yeah. To be fair, Kai and I usually bring up the rear. Yeah. So. That's um, I got this dopey. The first thing, <laughs> the first thing you guys see is the ships. To the ships. You see the crowd scrambling down the sides of the Coliseum of this amphitheater-like thing. They are running. Just like scrambling like ants. Some people are like brandishing weapons. Some of the, the would be warriors are like angling to get up and fight him and they're like hacking at his knees and his feet and stuff. But most people, you know, not everyone here was a, a war band. There's spectators, there's merchants, there's everyone that brought their competitors here. And they start scrambling to the ships and you hear, Oh, you fools! You lead them right to them! And you see Ismet, <laughs> um, he is currently astride a, a, a red drake which is like crawling on the side of the arena. Um, but you can see it's, it has wings that have been like, well, like weathered and, and torn apart and like like shriveled up, essentially his, his great fire drake that he's riding on. Uh, he's in his full armor and he's like, like saddling up and just like looking at this thing. Um, as if on cue, you watch Uthrag follow the main, um, the main uh, group of people. And he's gonna go ahead and use Staggering Quake um, so you watch him as he comes to the ships. 
there's a wide berth where you see uh, the windfall and all these other ships that are just like lined up essentially in the harbor and people are like scrambling on them people are on the um, on the, the docks and he takes his um, axe and his fist and he just <laughs> pounds it into the ground as he does the earth itself rips up in a cone shape like a and you watch as afterwards there's like one initial shock wave and you're like oh it first opened the ground and then <laughs> this surge of energy and air of the pure force of his strength like a cluster bomb blows up the earth, sending debris. You see bits of people flying. Half of the um, the dock gets shredded up as the logs fly and shred into splinters. And the shockwave is so much it causes a wave to... You see ships rip off of their anchor and get pushed out. You see the windfall turn on her heel, the anchor snapping and get pushed out to the ocean. You watch some of the smaller ships get decimated instantly. Wow. I don't know. I think they got Wesley's new ship. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that is... Not those delicious, suspiciously large crates. Uh, that is all three of his actions for uh, Staggering Quake. So that's going to bring us to Olag. Olag is going to go up Did and... Did you turn Balakim on? Hmm? Or not yet? This is not where you guys are right okay. now. We're, we're theater um, of the mind right now, boys. Yeah, I'll just check we're, we're theater of the mind right now. Where the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> well... So when we actually get to it. This is if you guys survive. So... <laughs> Olag's, Olag walks up. He's like, yes! Uthrog! Honor me! And you see him, like, pull out, double axes himself. Yeah. <laughs> um, he beats on his chest twice, and he looks at Kai. And <laughs> 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 he looks at Kai. It has to be you, brother. And you see that glint in his eye where he just knows. Yeah! And he just sprints straight at Uthrog, and he's going to go ahead and cleave. So we're leaving, right? <laughs> you watch his <laughs> axe embed oh. into the uh, the the ankle, and he's going to just right tear. Right. And you see blood spray all over the front of him. He struck an absolutely fine blow. He's going to do some damage. He's going to do a significant amount of damage. Uh, he's rendering 18 damage to Uthrog's leg as he. Looks all like right. he's got him. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna bring us to Cordelia. You're up <laughs> with your 18 hit points. What do you want to do? <laughs> 19. 19. Okay. Oh, have you know. Right. Actually, interesting question. How close are we to the blood fountain that was the? I'll be a little. Close. Um, you guys are about, uh, I'd say, 30 feet from the blood fountain. And it has the charge from. Suck it up. Grip and step. Well, uh, from and from the elephant. I mean, and from that orc that just got squeezed to paste. <laughs> I don't know. How, I don't know how it does, charges. Does that one count? <laughs> it just keeps refilling. Um, Wait. Hang Does on. it start killing innocents no. inside the stadium? I will say, no, it's technically like the magic of it only works for those felled and like honorable combat. Yeah, I kind of figured it was like, there was like some so that one So that one orc got squished between Uthrag's hands. I'll say there's an extra charge in the blood fountain. So, <laughs> like, let's take it. Um, three charges then? Three then. Three charges, yeah. Yeah, I think. Get your little sister sit. <laughs> I <laughs> my face in it. <laughs> I, think, I think Wesley pulled us up on top of the elephant and then like raised oh, her yeah, arm that's, up. Oh, yeah, that's what I was like, so yeah. Um, so did he like run past us? Who? Uh, the giant. Did he just run he's, past he's us? He's out, so imagine this is a stadium, and he ran towards the dock. So he's not in the Coliseum with you guys anymore. You guys oh, are kind of okay. like by your yeah, own. So he kind of showed up and then left. How far away? <laughs> he just kool uh, man straight through. around 60 feet away <laughs> from you guys. He's within like, I can he's fucking fast. see him right there, but right. like, you guys uh, are behind him now. She, she's going to lower her hand, but keep hold of Wesley's hand um, and kind of address the group and be like, are we facing him now? And and she will go ahead and use the last charge of her staff okay. to do, um, I think it's going to take all three, yeah. Yeah, three actions. Three, three, three actions to do the big heal for everybody. You got it. Um, it's just D8. And I'm gonna heighten it. Heighten. Uh, everybody gets eight points of healing. Nice. Um, and that's that's it for her. She's still on top of the elephant, hold, holding Wesley's hand. Um, okay. I assume it's my turn now. No. One more <laughs> thing happens. As you guys no. are looking out for the ships, you can see some of the ships sinking. You hear this like very distinct shink, 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 like jingling. You see like a comically large like sackcloth bag 
and you see this one goblin holding it, like holding it up, and you can sort of hear him muttering, oh, lovely things, lovely things from these sunken ships there is. Uh, and he takes it, and this guy's just looting all of the ships. He's getting all kinds of treasure from everyone. And then he sees the whole thing, and he kind of like, makes this motion to everyone, and he just, just kind of disappears into the distance. So for chat, that guy can be redeemed uh, using your chat redeem. Uh, if you guys want to unleash the loot goblin, we'll see him again. All right, Brooks, you're up. Well, so, I don't know what the fuck that was. But anyway, <laughs> I uh, felt a, a strange urge to murder him. I'm tingling. <laughs> like um, I would be rewarded for inflicting punishment. Uh, so I, I look out of the Colosseum and the shape of his body that just broke through it. Very <laughs> uh, Yeah. Do we see this shard on him anyway? Embedded in, in his back? spine. You know how you have the little bumpies for your spine? Your spine? Ew, He's got one embedded in that. And it's broken in half. You can see a clean break. Well, not a clean break, a not clean break. And it's jagged and like infected wound around him, embedded in there, glowing crystal, white with red stains that have turned black around it. And the red of his blood is actually flowing into the crystal and almost like dying. You know how celery absorbs color if you leave it in like Kool-Aid? It does? Yeah. <laughs> well, the crystal is absorbing mm. is absorbing the blood from him and he's absorbing some of the crystal. Yikers. Who thought to put celery in Kool-Aid? <laughs> it's a science experiment, okay? <laughs> is there celery in no, like, generic powder flavored beverage? <laughs> Oh, Please yeah. sponsor us, Kool-Aid. Is there, <laughs> is there any kind of check I can Ooh, make yeah. to determine if I think that his mind is too far gone to use like mental spells on him? Be like recall knowledge for the he, monster. I'm not gonna make you roll or anything because I I think with Brooks's attunement, he is just because his mind isn't he's, there. But I don't he's know a if broken. It makes it. He is a pure avatar. He already worships the god of fury. So you know that orcish berserkers already like willingly give up their mind to go into this battle fury. He is, he is like, he's gone. Whatever, like you, you cannot talk this dude down. I, I would say it's not impossible, but I think Brooks understands like the legendary nature of this task. I think it, as a, a, a person, as a, like a warrior, you would understand that. Okay. Uh, so I look at him, and look back. He's a big boy. <laughs> well, we just need to get the thing from his back. The question is, how do we get close enough? <laughs> Uh, without him, look at the blood stain. Without him squishing us, uh, I'm going to spend two movement to get. I guess because I only can move 15 feet to get to like the edge of the Colosseum. Okay. So I guess he's within 30 feet of me now. Okay. Well, it was 90 feet. Oh yeah, you said 60, not 60. 90. Mm -hmm. Um. What you got? Uh, I'm not gonna try anything. I'm just gonna um, have. Actually, I'll move another 15 feet closer. So okay. So my three, three actions get closer. Um, uh, I'm scared, but I'm getting closer. Okay. Is that it? Three actions? Get yeah. Scooching? Okay, you got it. Scooching. All right. That's gonna bring us to Wesley. Fast healing. Go. Okay. Uh, starting with the other mind. Is there like a path towards him that would give me some elevation? No, he has now moved out of the arena, so you could jump up on the arena, but then he'd be 30 feet out away from like the upwards of the stands, so you'd have to move up. 30 feet, how far can you jump? Can you jump 30 feet? That's a feet? realistic question. Yeah, <laughs> I, might, I, might, I might be able to jump 30 feet. I'm scared now. <laughs> I'm scared for Wesley. I'm gonna do like the Superman leap. Long jump. The DC of the check is equal to the distance and feet you're attempting to move. Do you want to try a DC 30 jump? You'll have one action left, so one move, one stride. If I have panache, it lowers the DC by 10. So DC 20. Yeah, I need to panache. Can you get panache by like kicking a teammate? Panache. <laughs> I think I feel like that's abusing the rules. It is a Just little bit. Yeah. Spartan kick Cordelia um, off the elephant. Ah. <laughs> Hey, that was cool. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> Alright, what you got? Yeah, um, some healing. <laughs> yeah, uh, so... Sorry. 
scared. So I will also <laughs> stride. I'll stride twice to get up on him. And that other orc is like hacking into his leg. Yeah, Olag is there. The, the servant of fury that you guys were like, that just anointed Kai. I mean, I will give it a shot. Oh shit! To I'm gonna tumble through to try and like, like, Ooh, like dart through his legs, like okay. as I approach. So I'm just gonna be. I just love how I'm like. It's gonna be acrobatics versus his uh, reflex DC. Okay. I'll get there. I'm like chomp, 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 chomp. Eighteen oh, plus well. fourteen is thirty-two. So ten plus his reflex. Yeah. Success. Oh, Panash. I mean, his reflex DC is twenty-nine. Oh. Uh, I would imagine it would take Okay, you got a panache. So now you've used two two strides, right? Two strides and a So you all right, and you're on the other side of Uthrog. Yeah, like I I, I met up with um him, oh, and then I, I like him. dashed through the feet and got like flanking on the other side. So Defeat. because Olag is behind him, ha hacking at his knee, you've now rolled in front of the the avatar. Oh, I thought he was like on like his right, and I would just like position on the left. No. Okay, we can see. We that's can kind of like that. That's yeah. kind of what I was imagining. All right, that's that's good. All right, let's move on to Ernie. So he's like turned to Cordelia. He's like, I think we can deal with it right now. We just can't do anything wreck. Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck. All right. She uh, killed me up. I'm going. So Ernie's gonna slide down the trunk of the elephant and uh, land near the blood pool and just be like. <laughs> <laughs> now. You specifically mean the the fountain that's magically the magical the, fountain that heals. Okay, because oh when you say blood pool, I didn't know if Ernie was just straight up licking elephant blood off the ground. And no. I was like, I'm not I ready. I done looting this elephant. <laughs> the strength of the tusks becomes me. Every disease, every disease. Ooh, yeah. Okay, um, it's two d eight plus five. Right? Uh, I thought I thought it was three because the. I don't know. Let me. No, pull I'm it. only taking. I'm only taking. Well, oh. actually, it depends. How much does it heal? Well, let me pull up my goddamn. Wait, no, no, no. I've, I've got it. I've got it. It's two d eight plus five per enemy fell. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna so drink smart. a it's charge. Really delicious. So, you have that so I'm drinking one of the charges. So go ahead and roll two d eight plus five. Ooh, thirteen. Eighteen. Okay. Um, okay. Good deal. Uh, and then he's going to trying to like. He gets up. Yeah, that's better. Um, <laughs> he's gonna look and kind of seeing where all the chaos is going. He's gonna run kind of down the market square as much as he can with his remaining action, but he's going to drop um, and try to get stealthed behind something where he can see, but is is trying to like... There's an overturned like big cart, I think, that you just yeah, kind of so I'm going. I'm, I'm trying to cut the distance between me and the big guy, but I want to hide at the end of it. Sounds fine. Yep, got it. And I will roll a stealth check. Bring a Not great. Okay. Mm. Um, What's your stealth? Uh, low. Versus perception DC, right? I have to yep. know if you're hidden or not. Uh, well, it's a 16, because well, I rolled a natural 2. Well? <laughs> so. Is it worth a hero? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Well, Wait, his perception no. DC is, is it 10 plus his perception? 10 plus his perception, so 31, so. <gasps> so I missed it? Yeah. <laughs> but I think just, I, just I, by I, little, like, just by hair. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. He is more aware of you now than before you tried to hide. <laughs> <laughs> just snaps in your I smell no! <laughs> so, so far away, far away, far away on the elephant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you, uh, I, I'm almost completely out of juice for the day, so I think you can see as he kind of stops for a moment, and you can start to, start to see like the veins like start to bulge and throb. But he's like, I'm so angry, and he's gonna run. <laughs> he's gonna rush after the other four or the other three who have just. It's run already out. started. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna let's see. I mean, I can, strictly speaking, I can hit him. For Actually, wait for anything. Okay. Um, but I'm not. I'm gonna go run out of the hole in the stadium. So it's okay. about 30 feet. One stride. Okay. Sure. Um, and then is there? Like I think cover is still the intelligent thing to do here. There's it, like I'm sure there's like there's, I mean there's buildings and stuff around there too. Oh, well, there's, like, there's not really. There's not really buildings. Uh, Remember, there was just the one. Like tents. There was market stalls, like mm -hmm. a bazaar style thing along the docks. Those are now decimated. Oh, okay. And, so like an and then there was the docks, bar. and then there was the the mead hall, which was just an mm -hmm. open sort of like right, right, like a like a long thatch, like, like, like yeah, that's ball. basically it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's not buildings left essentially. It's just rubble. 
It was always just like sort of like a coastal area. Ooh, you, know? you, you see, see Ernie you hiding behind the he... cart, but it falls over as he leans against <laughs> it. <laughs> so you said you said he, he was he stopped and like broke up the ground though. You can see there's yeah. literally jagged spikes of broken earth where he shattered the ground itself. I'm gonna try to put one of those between me and him. Um, you'd have to go. You'd have to strike. I'd have to go strike past twice. Past. Yeah. Well, I do. I do want to strike. I do want to strike a second time. Okay. So it's, it's a cone, so it's a big fat mm -hmm. area, so you'd have to get like at an angle at him. So I think no matter what side you're on, you're gonna be line of sight of him. Cause I look, think that's okay. I, okay. You know, I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to make it to where if he throws something at me, I have something to get behind. Oh, me. gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. All right, yeah. that's all three actions for you. Okay, perfect. Uthrax turn. Wesley did just approach him, but he was already attacked by Olag. So I think the fact that Olag hit him might draw aggro. He's so, okay. he's going to go ahead and uh, do a crush attack real quick. That is 32 to hit. All right. So, you watch him. How many? It's not much harder than your AC. With that, that really juicy left hand is like like bulging and bulbous. It snatches onto Olag, who is like squirming. And he picks him up and looks at him. Oh, no. So that's gonna do the initial uh, damage of the actual uh, hand. His left hand is in specific contrast to his right hand? Yes. Okay. And one, that's a strong hand. You can see he has two axes. One is in his hand, the other one's at his side. He's just using the hand to like crush. That's interesting. Um, that's going to be... That bodes well. <laughs> All right, 29 points of damage as he picks him up. Be on not um, side as well. 29 points of damage? Yep. He is then going to use fling. So you watch him take Oleg, <laughs> and he throws him straight up in the air. Oh no! Oh, no. All right, so he flings him into the air. I hope he has cat. Um, <laughs> ten feet. Oh, interestingly enough. So you watch Oleg. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> oh fuck! He's aware of Ernie. He he just tosses him in the air, and he just. <laughs> He's gonna like, crash on the cart. Make a reflex save. Is this the same one as if you're trying to drop on someone? Because that's pretty. Uh, reflex save. It's not the same. Okay. Reflex. Thirty-three. All right, you you tumble all the way to no damage, but you watch as Oleg, the servant of fury, lands on the cart you were hiding by, and a splinter of it just pierces his chest like that. There's like splinters, and there's one big piece of wood just stabbing all through him. Damn it, he sees so, me now. So he's now going to take the fall. Now. He's gonna take the fall damage from as far as he fell. And as you guys know, in Pathfinder, as opposed to other role-playing games, fall damage is absolutely it's not, real. It's not dice. It's bad. Oh, that's right. It's, it's per... It's, it's just straight damage. I just wanted to roll. It's a lot. Oh, you'll be rolling. Yep. Okay, so... I have to do some math. Oops. Got a little excited. All right, you take bludgeoning damage half the distance uh, from where you were. As long as it was above 10 feet. Yeah, so he's 14 foot high. And then he throws him up. Ooh. Probably only like eight feet. Uh, <laughs> 25 feet. Oops. 40 feet. Um, 20 damage? Yeah. So he's going to take 20 damage from just... Immediately. Yeah. And he is uh, also impaled and dying. So Olag is just like... <laughs> he's smiling. The blood is coming out of him. But Ernie, like, you're looking at this guy... He's got mere moments left. Oh. Uh, action. Action. He still has another action. Um, we're just going to go ahead and he's going to use that other action. He doesn't even look at Wesley as you're running up his side. He's getting ready to stride forward the big crowd. He just takes the axe and just going to bring it down at his, at his side. Um, that is his third attack. So it's going to be plus a 29 versus AC. Yes. All right. You are going to take... Nineteen points of slashing. That's a that's oh, a twenty nine with a minus eight. So you said this is a raid boss, but there's only like us. <laughs> Where, where's everybody else? <laughs> where's the rest of the Everyone's raid? Everyone's running away. Well, Dragon Friend was somewhere. Yeah. Mm. Trying to do math. Nine. <laughs> All right, that's it for uh, Uthrag. So Olag fair, is dying. Like really All right. Uh, go ahead with Cordelia. Oh, is it me? Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> me. How how far away is Oleg from me? Oleg? Yeah. Um, he is thirty feet away from you, like way over 
uh, by Ernie on the other side of the arena. Okay, I'm gonna run over to him. Okay, you can do that in a stride. Um, and I'm gonna give him a healing potion. I'm gonna force feed him. He, leave it, leave it. <laughs> it needs to be this way. I need to, it needs to. You can live to fight another day and then you can maybe best him. Okay. You can force feed him. I don't think he has any power to resist you right now. Yeah. So, I'm going to do that. The other raid slots are carries. <laughs> <laughs> Who are all these bots? <laughs> uh, he gets five points of healing. Okay. Um, which would mean, because Big Boy didn't move, mm -hmm. so he should be 30 feet from me. Uh, more or less, because, yeah. Because he was 60 feet away from sure. all of us on the elephant. Yeah, that's about where he got. I only have one action, though. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cast Guidance on Wesley since he's under his feet. <laughs> guidance <laughs> does what? Uh, you get a plus one to um, attack roll, saving throw, perception check, any skill check. Neat. Plus one on my next one. Yep. Basically my next roll. Okay. But pretty much, yeah, pretty much whatever you decide you want to use it on, but it does end at the end of your turn. All right. Who's up next? Brooks. Okay. Made it to the entrance to the Coliseum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take out that oil of weightlessness. <laughs> it's like maybe this is the time. Uh, it doesn't say how many actions it takes. Uh, I would think one, and then it's usually an interact action to. It should say one, two, it, uh, it just says you can spread it on an item of one bulk or less. Well, I see moisturizing right now. Yeah, it's one action interact. <laughs> it does say activate one action interact. Okay, so I spend two actions to do that. I guess. Okay. Uh, and then I'm not gonna move towards him though. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna. Um, the spectral Brooks appears and kind of interposes himself in front of me. I'm gonna cast shield. Okay, shield is up. I cannot take a hit from that. <laughs> All right. His armor. Wesley. Okay. I want to try to climb his back. Climb. Okay. Go ahead. So I'm guessing it should be athletic, so I don't really know what it would be even versus. I want to say it's versus his reflex DC, since you're trying to climb up his back and he's trying to... There's probably a mechanic for this. I don't know the rule for it, so we're just gonna wing it and say that's the that's the DC is his reflex of trying to like wiggle you off his back. Just to work. I don't. I don't do it. That's a twenty-two. Twenty-two? No. So you start to move. Did you add uh, a plus one? No, twenty-three. I don't know if it would make a difference, but. It might if it was close to being a crit fail. What was it, 22? 23, because it got this. 23 does not quite make it, unfortunately. Yeah. Not far off, but doesn't quite make it. So you start to you start to climb, but he, like he's so covered in blood and sweat, and there's not really handholds on his, like, you know. You can grab some bits of his armor, which is all, like, bursted off mm -hmm. and, like, begin to fall apart. It's just pure muscle that you're trying to climb and stick your hand in the crevices of, like, his abs, essentially, and you're just sli you just slide down. So, unfortunately not. Uh, and he's heading towards like a crowd of people up ahead. Mm -hmm. I don't really have a way to disperse people, do I? Um, I guess I'll use my next movement if I can reach someone within thirty-five feet of me. Mm -hmm. Run mm -hmm. up to them and just yeet them out of the way of his path. Okay, so you can so see... So, my next stride and the next is to shove someone. Okay, everyone is like... In fact, I'll give you a roll of d4. That's how many people you can get with, like, one big sweeping... Like, directing. Three. Three people, you just, like, ugh, shove them, and they have sort of tumble off to the side and start running off in a different direction. Because everyone's they, running straight towards the boat still, so they're still, like, right in his path. But they're doing the Prometheus The Prometheus run, run, yeah. Yeah, like, my goal was to pull them, like, off to the side. Because everyone in that movie were dumb as NPCs. Yeah. All right, uh, Ernie. So describe him to me. It, you said he's mostly muscle. Does he have any sort of like, what does he have kind of on his upper um, body? Does he have like this a- This sort of 
any collar leather or armor with mail uh, intermittent some bone like stuff that was maybe once part of like his tribal design so there are some loops and there's, there's uh, like and loops and whistles and stuff like that okay. but what i mean is like his size when he grew is like bursting through all of okay. that stuff okay. so okay. like his his armor Noted. only covers half of his chest the rest is like his exposed stomach um like you know parts of his pants are, are coming off from the rot because it's been like this way for like, years at this point mm-hmm. or however long okay um we're in, we're in dumb plan territory. Um, Ernie's going to reach into his bag. Yeah, and he's going to pull out. Uh, it looks like one of those like trash picker upper thingies. Okay. But he's going to go... T- 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 until it's 10 feet long. And that's two actions. And then he's just going to kind of run towards the guy with it sticking out in front of him. Okay. Yeah. With the brown gold on it? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and you want to, how far can you try him? Uh, 25 feet. So you can get within 10 feet of him. Okay. I, I put it up near him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm glad I ran away from <laughs> that. A tasty snack. I wouldn't have done it if you hadn't. Any Anybody got a fireball? <laughs> Kai. <laughs> okay. I don't think this is going to change oh. Um, so Kai from I'm, you know, I'm preparing for a dead PC right now, like mentally. So I'm glad I'm over here. <laughs> uh, uh, so you know Kai behind the thing, uh, kind of cocks open his Gisele and pops um, uh, a more different bullet out and crams it in with a gun. And whispers, "I wish this would make him bleed," and aims up at this guy's head and fires. Ooh. Headshot. Huh. Wow. What? Mm. Two ones? Two, two threes. threes. Yikes. So that definitely doesn't hit, unfortunately. Uh, what's the total? Um, 18. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so the bullet whizzes by and uh, and like slams through uh, one of the one of the knocked over tents and into a, into a wooden post. Mm-hmm. You hear that's just as a viper just spawns out of the hole. <laughs> and now there's just a viper loose in there somewhere. <laughs> Trying to fight a tent. <laughs> that, was, that was cool though. Cute. All right. Uthrug's turn. So, you've taken a shot from kind of like behind your cover. It was loud, but didn't hit him. Wesley tried to climb him, and then there's a gnome with a stick <laughs> pointing up at him. And he still sees all the people running, but they start scattering. I really don't know what to do. I'm going to roll a d4 for each of those four targets I just mentioned in that order. So I mentioned first Kai, um, then Wesley, then Ernie, then the crowd. Yes. Kai, then Wesley, then Ernie. Okay. <laughs> so as he's just looking around, oh, no. he turns around and he sees you. He's going to use foot. <laughs> he, ca- he-, he casts foot. Hmm? I mean, does he get within five feet of the blur on mold? Hmm? No, he's, I mean, he's 15 feet away, or he's, he's 10 feet away from you, but he has reach. It's a 10-foot stick. Yeah, that's fine. Does he get within five feet of the brown sure. mold? Yeah. It triggers the brown mold, right? Okay, so oh, no. brown mold. <laughs> this guy's about to get athlete's foot. <laughs> this is bad. We're All never right. going to be able to retrieve it because he's just going to be riddled. Uh, no, it's uh, fire comes within five feet of the brown okay. mold. Um, he has to actually touch it, which he will. I'm going to say he does touch it. And it's and you yeah, so he's gonna go ahead and do his attack and he'll take the brown mole. But I look up at him with these big puppy dog eyes <laughs> as he's trying to squish and me. And what's that gonna give him? Um, well, let's find out. I'm gonna roll a diplomacy check. Okay. Versus his will. I'm gonna just hero point this <laughs> to really try to make it happen for myself. Blowing our Why fortune affects. Oh. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Ooh. 31 versus his will DC. His will DC is 27. Oh. So it's success. What's he going to do? Uh, that is going to be a minus He's four to, to hit me. Okay. Nope. Yes, minus four okay. to hit me. He's like, What do you say to him? I'm just like, he looks down at me and I'm just like, just puppy dog eyes. <laughs> and like, there's something. No. Uh, Ernie, he's right here on point. Like he's looking and he sees your eyes and it's, uh, it's not pity, it's disgust at your patheticness. Yeah, well, I get that uh, a lot. He rolled a nat 
One. Oh. And so he's not going to hit you. The foot comes down and just breaks um, like the, the, <laughs> the earth behind you. Um, but now that he's pinning you, I think you still draw an aggro at this point. Um, so brown mold, as it gets into him, he's making a fortitude save. He rolled a natural 14. Oh. Um, plus 21. Oh. Um, that's a crit six. 21 plus. Yeah. That's a crit success. So he. Uh, I can't cast anything against him if he's got a plus 21. Is that brown fortitude? mold? Yeah, like no. Plus. Most of my stuff is fortitude. Something um, still, yeah. Uh, he takes no damage for the brown mold. Great. I'm he's actually not using this for the brown mold. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's just so the brown mold's out, and his uh, his foot comes down enough to hit the brown mold. It's gonna on crush whatever you had rolling up, essentially. I mean, I'm still got my big stick. He's, it's an extendable he's pincer. He's I'm using it as an item. Okay. I mean, it's my. I'm, I'm so he's on the. He's on like what? Like a, a string? What? No, I mean I, I've got a big. Stick. I've got my big stick that I'm wielding as a weapon. Okay. And then what's the mold on? The end of the stick. So if he if he steps on it enough to get the brown mold, he's then gonna snap it. it's gonna snap it. If it's not, then the I'm not. Tr- I don't want him to break the stick. Okay, I'm, I'm so trying to use it to grab the item on his back. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. It just happened to have the mold. Yeah, it, it just, just happens to have mold on it. Gotcha. All right, here's what he's gonna do. Since that's all too convoluted and it, it doesn't matter, he's just gonna grab Ernie. Oh. All right, <laughs> yeah. Ernie, twenty versus AC. Nope. So he comes at you with the left hand. Ah! <laughs> um, and then the third strike, he's going to go try and slash. And so you are like, mm-hmm. annoying him and darting in and out of the way. Natural one again! I'm wow. <laughs> <laughs> Slicing into the ground. Here's the birthday boy. All right. I'm a birthday boy. That's it. He's done. <laughs> Birthdays last right. the whole day. Cordelia, you're up. She, she's just staring open mouth at the shenanigans. <laughs> like, why are you... <sighs> no, this is fine. It's fine. Everything's it's fine. fine. I mean, just wave her stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know what, sure, why not? Let's give it a go. Um, I need him to go ahead. (laughs) I need him to go ahead and make a fortitude saving throw. I know he's going to make this. It's just a matter of if he critically succeeds or not. Fortitude. 34. That is a critical success. Okay. Um... So that eats Worms Repass, so that screws what I was hoping to do with that. Um, uh, boy, oh boy. So yeah, she casts it, sees it completely just fizzle out against him, and then um, she's going to go ahead and I think Kai's near her, next to her. No? I ran out too. Oh. Yeah. Kai's the furthest, well, but Kai and Wes are the closest people to the ships right now. Okay. Um, she's going to go ahead and cast Guidance on Kai, but she's just kind of shaking her head and to it, kind of out loud, but mostly to Emrys. Em- I can do nothing to help them. There's, there's nothing I can do. Brooks. Um, he hasn't moved from where he is, right? He just no, he's yet. trying to squish Ernie and he just can't <laughs> hit him. Okay, so I think he's unfortunately 15 feet from me. I don't know if I want to be this close, actually, but here I am. Um, this will be a mistake. I'm not doing that. I'm not shielding Yeah, don't you. do that. Fuck Ernie, he's going to kill me if I do that. Um, okay, I'm going to resummon my spiritual weapon. Okay, so the special books appears. Um, I'm going to send him up there just like slash at the back. Okay, go for it. Twenty-five does not hit. Okay, um, I'll attack again. Okay. Do I want to do that or do I want to fucking move? Well. I'm gonna move. Actually. Okay. So the special books <laughs> slashes against and it just does not find any actual damage on the thing's back. All right. So what are you gonna do? I'm gonna that? take 15, 15 steps back. Okay. Just like. <laughs> Alright, nope. Remember, the, the, the armor is weightless now, so. Yeah, I just, I don't want to move too far, but gotcha. I want to not right. be too close. Ernie, you're up. This guy has tried to hit you three times, and you managed to dodge all third. of them. Oh, I'm so sorry. I did mess it up. Wesley first. Okay, so I, I just shoved some people out of the way. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, 
I see like half of like a tent, I'm like or like one of the poles holding up, and I pick it up with like the tent still hanging on it. I'm like, this will work like a flag. I try to emulate Kai to like signal the windfall to like shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> shoot him. Okay. So that's what I'll. Uh, so I guess one action grab the pole, and another to like try and signal the windfall in some manner. <laughs> There's, there's I mean, like I could do like yeah. performance. Semaphore. Performance sounds good. Semaphore check. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do you speak flag? No, but I saw him do it. That's a 28. <laughs> <laughs> Kai <laughs> and the windfall clearly communicated, shoot him! <laughs> shoot him! <laughs> You're out there doing just like a color guard yeah. <laughs> routine. Uh, and then like, I like, I guess I, I feel like it got across and like I pick up the, mm-hmm. which was on my hip for the fight earlier, uh, the Lesser restoration, or not retaliation potion, I'll drink that. Okay. Does anyone remember what element it was? It was fire. Lightning. It was, it was lightning. 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 So lightning just like starts flicking. Thank God it's not fire. Uh, <laughs> mold. Yeah. Mm. It's molding time. That would be mean. <laughs> All right, now it's earning. All right, like a uh, suburban dad, I just instinctively do like a tong check with my clamps and goes tink, tink. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to run around the back. And with my 10 foot reach now, I'm going to try to. Grab the item. We could try. Uh, that's sticking out of You're his You're gonna roll thievery with misfortune. Okay. Because it's embedded in him. Twenty-seven. That's with misfortune. That's with misfortune. All right. Wow. You. Oh, twenty-seven. Dang. No, that's not it. But you. You snatch <laughs> you, onto it, and then it. And then it, it slips, slips off. off. Yeah, you almost had it. Okay. Uh, you can find out. You, you think with that first grab where it pinches, you're like, this is stupid. This is going to work. <laughs> that's like, actually that's why one of the that's going through I will say, at I'll, all times. I'll now reveal this sort of mechanic idea to you. Like, you're not going to get it on one pole. This is mm-hmm. a multiple, unless you do something absolutely insane. With that thing, you're going to have to work for a while, but you can start to loosen it like a like a tooth, essentially. Okay. I need you to talk um, He's Would well. attempting again incur multiple attack penalty? Yes. Or, okay. Um... In that case, rather than trying to grab it, that first one made me realize it's stuck in there pretty good. With my 10 foot reach, I'm just gonna try to like, give it a good sideways whack, like with my long stick, just to see if I can jostle it somewhat. Okay, go ahead and make an attack. Like to try and help whoever's next. Ooh. I critted, natural 20. <laughs> okay, and that was just with the stick. So you, yeah, I think we'll just go ahead and give a circumstance bonus to the next person. Uh, that would be fine with me. I mean, so you yeah, I whack it and sort accomplish. of like, yeah. yeah, trying to loosen it. I don't think, yeah, I don't think you can do actual damage to that. But as you loosen it a little yeah. bit, I will give a circumstance bonus to the next person that tries it. Very okay. good. Is that it for you? Is yeah, that's that great. Happening? Okay. I feel like this. Uh, is Kai. So you're in the front and you see Ernie behind him with a stick. <laughs> like all you see is legs and you see Ernie Shoot behind him. him. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's behind it. I, yeah, Where does I don't have go? an angle in the back. Um, <laughs> I might as well just use this. Y'all decided to fight him here, so I might as well just do this fucking battle map. He decided to fight us here. Well, he fucked right. people. All right. He doesn't um, decide anything. Oh, new encounter. New encounter. New lightning bolt. We're going for I it. I asked for a new track. Come on, music. I'm taking another shot at his face, but this one's made with lightning. Mm, do I want to hear one? I mean, I take the better ones. I may as well. Okay. I got extras anyway. It is that's, better. That's a lot better. Uh, 32. 32 to hit? Yep. Hits. All right. And he will take... Uh, ah, bait. Bait. He will take... Okay. He takes uh, four lightning damage. Okay. Five fire damage. Okay. Not he is also on. He is also on fire. Oh, he's on fire. That's so, the lightning bolt. So the brown mold spreads to him and to Ernie. But it's ten feet away from me. Huh? It's ten feet away. It from expands me. ten feet, my dude. Cool. Yeah. But it, he's on fire in the front and the brown <laughs> he's, he's on, on fire. fire. <laughs> it, it, it is it expressed to every adjacent space. So are you here too? No, I'm like thirty. Oh yeah, you you I moved. Ran thirty-five feet ahead. So it's just Ernie there now. Yeah. All right, him and Ernie both need to roll fortitude against the brown mold. I didn't think this through. Get him out. He's good. He takes half. 29. 29. Oh. You are going to take... Wait. Uh, neither of you take any damage. So the brown mold is now... 
it like drives a wedge between you two, but you both die. It's it. spreading, but now you're both like it's just like there's brown mold. There's a twenty foot square patch of brown mold, and every time fire comes near it, it's going to spread again. Um, actually, I'm sorry. It can only spread. Well, I was gonna get close. To it can't grow again for one day. So that patch of brown mold is just there, and that's as far as it can go. Can't one grow day. Or none. Yeah. Oh. Each patch can only grow once. That's why there were so many patches in the, in the cave. So it's bad with it's like a. How much damage was the total? I took nine so far. Uh, it was four, four lightning, five. five fire. Okay. Um, Math is hard. Okay. Good. And then I'm going to. Uh, Kai's going to reload, and so at, you know, as he does that, he's opening up the gun, putting in a bullet, and let's see. Um, I think I'm going to uh, run like left away from the people. So basically, he's if if I'm getting looked at now, he's gonna he's coming this way at me, uh, which should be you know Ernie's over back towards the stadium, Wesley's over with the people, and now Kai's kind of making a triangle with those two. Okay, love it. All right, anything else for Kai? That's it. No, that's three actions. Uthrag's turn. Okay, he needs he's first on his turn in brown mold. Natural one again. I've never rolled so many that once. He's gonna take. That would be a success, so he's gonna take a regular failure instead. So he's gonna take the regular damage of the brown gold. And it's cold so damage. It's cold damage, yes. 20 something to it. <laughs> so he's gonna, he's gonna take nine points of cold damage. That's actual real damage. This is significant. <laughs> All right. And you'll take that uh, on your turn. Um, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have added the plus six to that. Math is hard. It just has an aura that it's in. Um, but I'll just leave it for him because why not? All right, he is torn because gnome made him angry. I do that a lot. But flag is very distracting. But the flag <laughs> is now gone, and you made him angry. Yeah. I, I don't think it's unfair to say that he wants Ernie a little bit. Mm. I think Ernie is also the closest to him. Right it's now. The, you're you're in direct vicinity with the 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 god of battle. Like he's gonna roll a natural 13. Alright. 32 versus AC. I am going to use my reaction to like as he's about to critically hit me I dive out of the way and it gets a, I, I still get very much hit but it is he, not a crit. Oh he's grabbing. Oh. Well then he grabs. You, you don't just, want. You, just, you still want to stop that crit. Yeah I'm still stopping the crit. The he hand. doesn't have a firm grip on me. <laughs> like sp Spoiler, the hand does more than the axe. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like, spo I spoiler alert. Yeah. Um, it's going to grab you. Um, so you're going to take the normal damage. Thank God you stopped that crit. Um, that's 18 <laughs> points of piercing. You are now grabbed. And then he's going to use his second action to war flints. As Ernie's in his hand, he is going to... Oh, no. Squeeze. You're gonna take more damage. Anaconda squeeze. You're gonna take 19 more points of bludgeoning damage. That's dangerous. <laughs> All right. I need to get all this back and just get my tools out. I think uh, it's fair to say I dropped the stick. <laughs> uh, you can hold on to it if you want. No, I dropped it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's more valuable than me. Um, <laughs> and just gently let rest. Fuck me. That's one action. Of <laughs> oh fuck me! That's one action. Is that real? Grab what? All both of those attacks is one action. It's not a grab an action to automatically. Nope, it's automatic. So <gasps> he gets grabbed as part of the attack. Oh, so he no. hits you. You get the initial damage and the free grab. Mm. Then Warf Lens is literally squeezing you. It's considered the same as being swallowed. You are scrabbed, slowed one, and you have no breath, and you are now suffocating. You take the initial. You get the damage listed. At the end of each of your turns, while you're within his hand now, so he doesn't turns. have to do anything passively. You're being suffocated and squished to death. His so now that you're sweaty. taken care of, that <laughs> hand is occupied. He can't do anything with that hand. He's gonna take the axe, and he can't reach anyone. Let's stride towards Wesley. He strides towards the boats. I will say at this point, you've signaled to the windfall. The windfall is sailing out to sea. Like, they're getting more distance. They're getting out. And all the other ships are now taking off. Oh, we're here. People are, people are swiping. Uh, okay, Boss Man now has a hinder foe on it. Um, people are sailing out. People are swimming in the ocean. I mean, people are just getting the hell 
out, essentially. It's mostly just you guys and this guy. Is that Lee's hindering the boss? Yes. That's, that's how you true. know it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> he saw it went, ooh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yikers. Yikers. That is it. Um, but you will see that the windfall is like going to out. To see. Like you don't know if they got your later. message or not. You, you, you know you said it correctly, but they are sailing. They're, everyone's getting the fuck out of here. Cordelia. Ernie is now being turned to mashed potatoes. And he turned his back to us. What mm -hmm. can, and I can see that the gemstone in his back's a little bit looser. Uh, yeah. It doesn't kind look of. loose, but Ernie poked it. <clears throat> you, can, you can see it and you saw Ernie yeah. messing with it. Question, is it considered one bulk? One bulk? Yeah. No. no. This thing is heavy, heavy, heavy. heavy. Get more telekinetic projectile. Yeah, I was gonna start using telekinetic projectile to try and rip it out of it. I'll let you. You can. You can try. Okay. But you, it'd be the same as like making an attack on him. Um, since he moved to get closer to Wesley, I am gonna have to move up, so that I'm still within range. Is that a? Is that just a cantrip? Uh, it's a heightened cantrip. Yeah, I think you'd have to like telekinetic projectile something like, like into it, to, like try and cut it out or something. Okay. Yeah, it's it's then too that heavy was, for then, that. Then that so was gonna cantrip. then that was gonna be the next thing. Yeah. I'm gonna take out. <laughs> she's gonna take out her carving knife. Oh god. <laughs> and it kind of spins in her hand a little, before she shoots it out at him. Okay. Please, I hope that I hit. But she is aiming essentially for that like mm -hmm. that hopefully softened, infected rotting okay. flesh around it. Duly noted, you have a circumstance bonus to hit. Um. Whoop. That one's, that one's out. <laughs> but, I, but I was going to hero point it. Ooh, you know what? Um, that one's a Ooh, out. that one's better. That's much better. Okay. Um, 31. 31 does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Um, <coughs> that's two of these. Okay. Okay. Good answer. Seven points of damage, okay. but um, she, I, I am just aiming to essentially start carving away at the flesh to loosen the gemstone. I will say, the gemstone. and let me know if y'all think that's fair, you already hit him without the circumstance bonus, so what I can do is increase the circumstance bonus for the next person to try and make a wedge out since you're like carving into it, so it does damage to him and it makes it easier to try and get the thing out, mm -hmm. if that sounds fair. That yeah, that's kind of how I figured okay. you meant. What the, was the total the damage? Mode. Uh, the seven. total damage was seven. Okay, and I'll double the circumstance bonus to the next person that makes an attempt. Um, yeah. You can see, oh, as he dice. takes damage, you watch his eyes turn red, and the muscles begin to surge, and the fury begins to flow into oh. him. <laughs> I made it worse for Ernie, I'm see, sorry. As, as he reaches certain HP thresholds, you see he seems to grow more powerful the longer the fight goes on. <laughs> Alright, so he's now, Shooter. he's now getting a little bit stronger. He needs to take one more fire damage and make a flat check as well. Keep warning. Fail on the flat check and uh, the one damage. So it's right just here. a one fire. Yeah, remind me of that because I will. Yeah, forget. yeah. You, the, your your transition to her turn was seamless. So yeah. I was like, oh shit, I missed. I'm it. so good. No. <laughs> all right, Brooks. Okay. Oh, were you done, Cordelia? I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that was that was now, all three. Now Brooks. that he's moved, how far is he from me? I was 30 feet away. He moved towards Wesley. He's he's now 60. You moved back 15. He is. Oh God, 75 feet from you now. He was 30, you moved back 15, he moved 30 forward, 75 feet. 35, 35, 7. 30 plus 30 plus 15. And you have range fighters, right? No. <sighs> okay, so what I'm going to do is um, the... <laughs> He's one shotting all the carries. Uh, Brooks's eyes glow a really intense gold, and the uh, spectral Brooks kind of like... Uh, and then, like, fizzles out. I'm going to cast... Athletic Rush, and now that I've used three focus abilities, I am overwhelmed, so I can't sustain spells. But I have an extra 10 feet of movement this turn. I'm going to run with my first 35 feet towards it, and then uh, as, as casting a spell, I can use a stride, so I'll do that. Now I'll stride again to get another 35 feet. Okay. Uh, and he's now 10 feet away from me. Uh-huh. That sounds right. Okay, with my third, I'm going to jump onto his back. Okay, same same DC. Let's try it. Your athletics, athletics versus his reflex. 
Okay, and there's a bonus to this? Um, yes, you have a circumstance bonus thanks to them. Plus two, plus one. Should I hero point it? Maybe 20? Maybe. If okay. you already got the bonus and you don't want to waste them. I'm going to hero point it. Ooh! Ooh. What you got? 31? Hold on. Plus 12, 31. Yeah. Okay. 31? Mm hmm. I'm yanking. Well, no, that was to get on oh, the back. Sorry, okay. bud. Yeah, Dang. You, don't, you don't have the action yet. So I'll, I'll leave the circumstance bonus. Okay. So you're on his back, and you are on him. So you've got a hand on like his chainmail link, like locked in there. Shout of the Colossus. Now it's all stamina, and you're he is like the wiggling right there. He has a giant glowing weak point. Also. Literally, yes. <laughs> all right, that's it for him. And a round that's it for is you. from until my next, or that's, that's a turn. A round is me just doing that. A round is everyone. Okay. Okay. Wesley and then Ernie's on deck. Wesley, you did that. The ships are all getting out. People are mostly scattered. The area is cleaning up. Okay, so he's on his back. Uh, I guess we're kind of harrying him. I'm going to use a stride to run back towards him. Then as a, I get closer, I'm going to drop into like a baseball slide and try and trip him so he lands face forward with uh, <laughs> him on his back. Wee. What's the um, what's the largest creature you can trip? Uh, I mean, he tripped I an think elephant. It's two sizes he bigger than me. <laughs> larger so, than an elephant. Oh no. <laughs> he is bigger than an elephant. Oh with, no. Uh, Titan wrestler. He is gargantuan. Two, two sizes larger than me. So, oh, if he's gargantuan, I don't think I can. He, he, can, he, he cannot be tripped. Be huge. Yeah. Large and huge. Yeah, elephant was huge. Uh, let me iterate how big this guy is. I can put the. I'll go get the elephant mini. He is bigger than an elephant. In case you're like thinking of like fighting this guy, like like that's how big he is. Like think of going to the zoo and seeing an elephant. Now imagine a person bigger than that. Yeah, I mean Ernie gotcha. is He's like, like three feet. and a half feet tall, completely encapsulated. You're like the size of his pinky nail. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was a legend that for a second. Okay. Uh, soon, soon, buddy. That's a goal. That is a goal. Uh. Do you want me to wreck on that, or do I have to attempt it anyway? Um, you tried it. Okay. Um, I will be benevolent and say that you could tell he's gargantuan. Like, Wesley would know, and you as a player would know that he's too big for that. So you, you can have your action back. Yeah. Uh, so instead of that, um, I will run towards him, and then, like, as I'm, like, running past him, I'm going to uh, use a unbalancing finisher and just, like, slam my sword onto, like, his toes. <laughs> okay. Right, unbalance him, so there's gonna be a strike versus him. Alright. You wanna run stiff? Uh, that's not gonna hit. No. Uh, that's an 18. Okay. So 18 is not gonna hit. No, sorry, I, rolled a, I rolled a 3. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so I miss, uh, so like, just like slide behind him and pull up my shield. Okay. Very cool still. Alright, Ernie, you are yeah. slow, so you have two actions. Alright. You are suffocating. You can't breathe. Okay, I'm going to try to pathetically squeeze out of this hand. <laughs> All right, that's going to be an escape. Yes, which I, can be, I believe can be an acrobatic strike. Yep, uh, or an unarmed strike. No. Uh, no, wait, hang on. Unless this has special rules where you need to do like... Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Go I'm, looking at, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Um, 27. 27 versus Oh, I got to look at the DC. See, whenever I put these two together, I have to make sure I'm using the right DC here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's really close. Pulling up the right creature. Yeah, I mean, I rolled a 15. Okay, and I'm a rogue with I, amongst the best acrobatics in the party. <laughs> yep. That's 20 what? Seven. Wait, 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 wait. A swallowed creature is grabbed, slowed. The swallowed creature takes it. Billy's grab condition it exits the monster's mouth but it's his hand because it's not his mouth um the engulfing creature from the defense attack if you want to just, uh there's no DC on it oh it's this reflex DC okay so 27 yeah versus his reflex DC my bad that took me a long time to find because usually the ability has it he's looking for a 29 Ooh, geez no one in the party's gonna be able to hit that don't get well, started once <laughs> Um, well, there's also other options besides just escaping. Dying. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you poor stab attack in the hand. Yeah. Um, fuck. At least it wasn't a critical. So. Jesus Christ. You can attempt again. I mean, I rolled a 15. I feel like attempting to get down this beetle. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. I don't have enough health to do something stupid. Again. Mm -hmm. Um. Jeez. I guess, I mean... It's not like he's flat-footed against me or anything like that. What are what are my conditions? I am slowed and suffocating. What is at the end of my turn? Uh, he's flat-footed if you attack him. Attacks from the inside of his hand becomes flat-footed. Do they? Yep. Okay. Well, then I am going to just pull a fucking dagger and stab it in him. There you go. And I'm going to use a hero point because I need this to hit. Uh, he's already empowered, so. Twenty-eight. Against his flat footed? Oh, yeah. That hits. Alright. And you get your sneak attack because he's flat footed. Check that in Power Foe because that specifically says it doesn't work on uh, bosses. And this guy is definitely a boss. A bubble slash hearth. <laughs> DI, DI, DI. Six. We don't have a rupture value. He does have a rupture value, yes. Um, that's going to be 16 points of damage. You're still inside of him. Oh. Rupture is a little bit higher than that. His hand's getting sweaty. All right. But it's not sweat, it's your blood. Sad. How much was 16? Yeah. No. Doing that. <laughs> uh, so let's sneak attack, too. All right. situation is dying, I apologize. All right. Ernie, at the end of your turn, you're going to take the squeezing damage. I'm cool. 22 points of bludgeoning. All right. And that brings us to Kai. We do ill advised things here at this table. <laughs> um, so, you know, Kai's been kind of hunkered down, like taking shots at him. Um, and so at this point, he stands straight up to his full, I mean, meager before this guy, but orcish height. And I'm going to cast a message on him. Okay. Um, and so he hears, a he hears like, I mean, the loudest voice message of all things can make in his, in his mind. Um, picking on the pathetic gnome instead of a real target. Coward. Oh. And then, uh, and then I, Kai's gonna... Roll intimidation. Oh, okay. Pr I'll give you fortune. Sweet. Let's go. Just for the whole, since you have the Servant of Fury sort of aura on you now, I feel like it's... Uh, there What's we the go. Other one? Okay. Uh, the other one. No, we don't. Let's don't look at that one. <laughs> we don't fortune. talk about Everybody the other one. Said fortune. Um, oh my God, math is failing me. Twenty-five. Okay. Okay. Uh, Twenty-five. Okay. Twenty-five. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. And and then uh, I'm gonna take aim with the Giselle. I'm aiming for his wrist just because Ernie's in there. I'm not you know. I, I don't. Oh, yeah, so you're going anyway. for the hand to try and rupture? Yeah. Yeah. I got can, it. I can do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. You won't hit Ernie. He's completely okay. enclosed. Like uh, yeah, I was, yeah. You're not going to hit Ernie. Cool, the, the hand is thick. If you did, though, <laughs> I would die. <laughs> <laughs> and I use a piercing shot. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. If you hit the rupture Here's value, if you hit the rupture value, he has to release him. Cool. That's what I'm, I'm hoping for that in both cases, so let's go. Uh, ooh, he's going to run. And you know, I'm going to make this a, a spell shot with a tangle foot. Wow, that number loves you today. Uh, it really does. But there was no fortune effect on this. Hero points! Hero points! Stop rolling three! Hmm. Rolls two. Oh, never mind. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my god! That is the fifth three I have rolled today. Two different dice! Do you want, do you want the dice? I've <laughs> used all of them! <laughs> do you want the dice jail like, no, no, they don't deserve the dice jail. They deserve, they deserve death. 19? I got There's 15 cool. sets of dice in that room. Go get some. What is I also have like... Kai, enjoy your hero point from chat. Hey. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> and that was in sexism. I know that's a man. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh, it, that's the turn. I'm, He's I'm, it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm educating right now. <laughs> All right. I'm retraining the dice. So he's one stride away from you, because he was running towards Wesley, I believe. Mm 
and I ran right past him. So you're right next to him. I'm right behind him, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so he's going to take Gnome and fling him at Kai. He's going to throw Ernie at Kai. Um, So Ah. fling. Is this a manipulate Um, action? (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I got to fucking look real quick. Because it's making him move. Look, to that guy, Ernie is definitely an item. That has to be a manipulation. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I Wait, a, it's a ranged attack. I can. It's a, I can attack it, it is on a, ranged attack. It is a ranged attack, so you can. You can. Yeah. Yes. I, I don't think I'll crit to interrupt it, but it might be god. funny. Crits. Oh my god! What is up with threes today? That's to my second. This is a danger spot. Yeah. You got nothing. No. It, same. I rolled a three. I got an eighteen again. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So, as he throws him, let's count, count you 10 feet up, so you take the same falling damage as, as that. So it's, uh, oh my god, the falling damage is half the damage, or half the distance you fell. Half the damage you fell. If it exceeds so it's falling sideways. So it would be, um, you went 10 feet up, so it would be like 25. So you'd be at about 25 feet. It, in fact, it especially says like 25 feet is like what you throw. But you're going straight into Kai. So Kai, you roll a reflex save, okay. and you catch him. <laughs> you just take the fall damage. You just have to deal I, with I roll it. a hug. I, I rolled a hug. Yeah. Him. So you take twelve points of falling damage. Okay. I, you get hit by my body. Yeah. And we'll find out how hard in just a moment. Yeah. The impact with Kai knocks you. Out. Thirty-two. Yeah. Um. Thirty-two. Yeah. That's a not a crit, but it's close. Um. So you manage Dang. to. Sort of here, plus one, twenty-three. You take, you take, you take, uh, you take six damage from uh-huh. you just scooting and. Psh. Um, wait, did I change that? You inexplicably get piss on you. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That is a crit. I, I I'm was, sorry. I was looking at the wrong I was number. Say, I was trying to this. catch you. <laughs> that is a crit. You take no damage. Ernie like tumbles into you, but Ernie takes the full force of hitting you, and you just like power can through. I, can I? Can I use my reaction to drop that to just a success and take some of his damage away, like catch him? Yes. Okay. So I'd like to absorb some of the damage. Okay. You take six. Take you take. Um, the full six, but now you're not prone. He's just kind okay. of still you, unconscious. Right? <laughs> 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 oh, you're right. All the I, 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 I think that's what Kyle would have done in the situation. He's angry, but doesn't hate Ernie. <laughs> Wait, that, you took the full damage then. It was twelve originally. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're taking six. All right, sorry. That, okay. that is what it is then. That was the first action. So I'm holding an unconscious note. Got it. You're wounded one. I am dying one. Yeah, you're dying one. You get wounded where you stand. Okay. Kai, you pissed him off. I'm, I am also on his back. That's ideal, oh, but I was not shit. expecting to be holding Ernie during that time period. Same thing, <laughs> but I'm also just like, yeah. yeah I'm like looking up at him, I'm like, Brooks, I'll hold No, him. no, fuck it, I'm not holding back. Y'all did this shit. All right, he is going to go ahead and <laughs> he's gonna use sta- he's gonna use staggering quake. Um, I feel like I'm safest here, actually. <laughs> yeah, you're no, literally you in the safest place. Uh, I'm you ride him. Possibly. You're where I want to be. <laughs> I have There's room. Tools. Um, he is going to go ahead and take his fist and his axe, and in a 30-foot cone, so the people it's going to hit is Kai and Ernie. Oh, good thing it's behind him. <laughs> the, the earth again. Splits down beneath him. Um, make a reflex save. No, just dying two now. You're just dying two now. As the earth. Sorry, Did that, that Kinderco and Chad ever do anything? Ooh. He hasn't rolled yet. Yeah, he hadn't Okay. 26. He just threw you and then... Yeah, he got it whenever he picked you up. And then... Yeah, no, there was, was, there was no... It's all been Nothing he's so done far. has had anything to do with a roll yet. Say what? 26. Uh, 26 on this. Staggering Quake. Hey, pass! You take half damage. Fifteen, so she takes seven. Nice. What or a eight. clean number. Oh goddamn it! <laughs> Seven. Um, wow, that could have been a lot worse. That's sixty-six. Um, okay. How much was it? Seventeen. Uh, it was the difference between dying yeah, one we and dying two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Uthrog is done, and he is like ready to move on. Kai. Uh, t- I, two fire damage. Thank you, Sir Fury. Fi- Thank you. And flat check. Hey, you add one to all damage sources. Mm-hmm. 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 Still burning. He's still on fire. All right, let's move on to Cordelia. Has he left the square with the brown hole? Mm, 
He did when he closed. Yeah, he, yeah. he, he, he closed moved. Again. He moved closer to me, and I ran past okay. him. Yes, that's why I was able to like pass him up. Cut him, him, him back in. Cut him back in. Get him in there. Two d six. Two d six. All right. I don't want to be in there. Cordelia, you're up. Then Brooks is on deck. All right. I'm going to. How far away is Kai and the unconscious Ernie from me? Um, if you were where Ernie originally was when you came to heal, be 30 feet, because they just moved a line from one stride from Kai. It's like 30 feet. Cool. And okay. you can see Ernie at the feet of Kai, and the earth has been shattered and, and torn up. Yeah. Um, Most dead he's ever looked. <laughs> she's... <laughs> He's not faking. His acting's gotten really good. He's not faking this time. Um, Doesn't even need the blood pack this time. Gonna stride authentic. over, give him my last potion, um, and she's just kind of like tapping your your cheek as she gets come. <laughs> Ernest, Ernest, please, we need you. We need everybody right now. Um, One. I am rolling shit. <laughs> That's a one HP, baby. Um, <laughs> Dying two to. Oh, yeah, your initiative is. And you have. Forward. Yeah, you, so your initiative You is have a plus here. one to poison and disease for the next 10 minutes because <laughs> okay. that is literally the only thing I had it's left. Up to wounded two, right? If I come up from dying two, I'm wounded no, two. No, it's wounded one. Wounded okay. one. Okay. Oh. Um, so when you go but down, if I go back you'll down, be dying two. Dying. Yeah, it adds, to your, it adds to your dying score. Yeah, so okay. every time you go down. The same Final Fantasy. Every time you go down, you get closer and closer to death. So. Yeah. And yeah. since I'm standing right next to the person that pissed him off, mm -hmm. and kind of over the unconscious person, I'm gonna throw up my shield um, and kind of try to use it to to body block Ernest. Um, and unlike you guys, when she uses it, it's like her shadow grows in front of her, and that's the shield. Very to cool. break it in case you do get targeted. <laughs> All right, Brooks, you're up. I want it back. You're on the back. Uh, and so Brooks' eyes are remaining in that gold state. His face is completely stoic, like there's no emotion. Um, I'm going to take the... Actually, I could just grab onto it. I'm just going to try and like keep yanking it out. Okay. Um, I would call that strength. Athletics? I call it athletics. That's the first time someone's actually tried to pull it directly, too, so that's the circumstance. Mm -hmm. like yep. So the first one's a 12. Total? For athletics? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to keep going. Okay. Because I'm here. So you go in, even with that circumstances, with the, the jagged edges and stuff, you're just like... Okay, here I go. Wow. 17. Here I go. My last one. I don't have any hero points. Uh, that's a little better. Uh, 26. 26. <laughs> and you feel it for the first time. You feel the flesh squish, you hear it scrape. You do not get this thing out. You make one little bar of progress. You feel, like you feel the muscles and sinew detaching a little bit. You've now knocked it loose, essentially. So like imagine it's like a tug of war, you just started winning for the first time. All right, is that it for you? All right, Wesley. Okay, so I can see him and he's made some progress. Mm -hmm. He's still got his hands on it. I would like to jump and like grab him and use our momentum <laughs> to pull and our weight to like pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> you can try. Okay. I, I would call that athletics too as well. I would oh, also say this is gonna be Oh my god. <laughs> that was if you crit fail, you're going down. This is pretty cool. Uh yeah, I rolled a sixteen. Sixteen total? Yeah. I rolled a two. And <laughs> So, Wesley, you're like on his back. You're like pulling on Brooks. And as you do, you just slip and lose your momentum and you fall flat on your ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess the ground. No damage. Was that one or two actions? Um, yoink. One. Okay. Uh, second action, I'll stand up. Uh, uh, he's big scary. I'll, I'll, I'll pull my shield back up. Okay, shield's back up. So, Ernie, you are back at. Uh, no words is comforting from Sonokum is, uh, you can try. Uh, not you can certainly try, but, uh, you can try. Uh, All right, it's Kai and then Ernie now, since whenever you go down, you okay. go above the monster that knocks you down. All right, Kai. All right. 
I said it. Now I must do it. Um, okay, so you know, leaving leaving uh, poor bleeding Ernie on the ground, he Cordelia next to him. Yeah, he's bleeding on the ground. I'm going to do exactly what I just said, and I'm going to run an arc around and try to put the uh, spot up brown mold between me and and the angry guy at me. Okay. <laughs> Uh, hiding him into the mold. Yeah, based on what I based on what we've been talking about so far, that feels like two strides. It's two strides, yeah. Okay, awesome. And as just as he's running, he's loading another bullet in. So, Makes sense. Uh, okay. That's it. That's it. Yep. It's just one, two, right? It was two strides and a reload. And a reload. Gotcha. Can you not? You can draw a weapon when you're moving, right? As long as with quick draw, you can't reload a gun while you're moving. You that is an it. actual that is an actual gunslinger feet. class feat. You don't have that to do yeah. those types of things, and I do not have gunslinger as a job. So. Right. That's right. Or class. <laughs> uh, you're banned at Final Fantasy Prison. <laughs> All right. Morty in jail. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. Ernest. Ernest gonna like prone. Prone. Uh. Wounded. <laughs> Not dying. Can I go back to sleep? <laughs> Not right now, dear. He stands up. That's one. He's gonna fast limp back to the blood pool. Fast limp. <laughs> That's. It's, Two it's, strides. It's, it's your whole turn to get there. You can't drink this turn. Okay. It's well, still got okay. It's the blood pool is on the north side, the east. The west side. You guys are all the way. Saying, but it's well side. away from him, right? Oh yeah, it's the whole coliseum between you and him. All right, I'm gonna. You're you're out of the combat at that point if you run over there. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like leaving the battlefield yeah. and coming back to the like the area boss. You're like, oh, I need to go. Just I'm getting to come back in. Yeah, like he, he would be tethering <laughs> back to his like place if if not for the. Waiting on revive. Waiting on revive. <laughs> All right, so you don't drink this turn, but I'll say with two actions, you can sprint over to the blood pool. Okay. And you're there. You see uh, Ismet there. His dragon is like lapping up from the pool, and Ismet himself is like drinking from it. Too. <laughs> <laughs> They're stealing your goodies. Well, I was still wounded from our encounter with Wessel. I am sorry I was not able to join the frill. You idiot! <laughs> I just collapsed. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna roll initiative for this, Matt. Okay. I was wondering where he was. A he, little he um, emotional damage. He was He was first rallying uh, his Drake and trying to help people get to ships, like people he knew and helped, like liked. And then he needed to heal because he was on three HP from Wesley. So it's three times as much as I have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's gonna go before Brooks. All right. Oh, Why the Drake need to heal? The Drake didn't fight. No. Uh, <laughs> the Drake did fight. It's not mm-hmm. something you guys saw. All right. Mm-hmm. Who just went, Ernie? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it's Uthrod's turn. Oh, that's Uthrog. I was like, what the heck is on my paper? <laughs> Uthrog. Does not give a shit about the brown mold. He's going to step into it, Excellent. and when we he love, comes into contact with that. the aura, hmm? when he comes into contact with the aura, I mean, he has to roll real low to take damage from this Great. stuff. Great, do that. <laughs> he can take. We've seen him take damage yep. from it, but he just steps on it. It's growing on him. He does not care. One action stride. I'll smack or try to smack him. I smack him. Use. Do it. Smack. Hit me. Hit me. Wow. What is up with my roll? Is twenty. Wow. Twenty does not hit him. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right. Um. All right. So what he's going to do is he's going to first strike. I'm going to do a new ability you haven't seen yet. Hi. Uh, no, 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 no. What about the ones we've seen? Exclusive oh, content. Like you don't want to see the ones you've seen. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Actually, you know what? I want to try and I want to try and give you the foot. As he runs over to you, he just lifts Hit up his boot. That's what he thinks of you. He's like, "All right, you think you're on a shit talk? You're Perfect. you're literally beneath me." Excellent. He's gonna take the foot and just stomp down Perfect. on you. Perfect. The people's Natural foot. three. Oh, I thought it was gonna be twenty. Twenty-two versus AC. That misses. <laughs> oh, oh. The foot stomps down in the what earth, shakes as he misses you. As he does, he's furious. He's just gonna take the axe and swing it across your chest. Oh, come on! Multiple attack battles here. Natural one. And he misses. Oh my! Is that the foot with the brown mold on it? Yeah, it's got tons of brown mold on it. 
Yeah, yeah that, that's normal it. toe cheese. All right, that's his turn. Cordelia. Yeah, I just Oh, we shit. made it back to me. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, he's turned his back Three to me again. Three fire damage, flat check. And each time Still she's burning. like, thank goodness he's not attacking me because I swear. But I do see you on his back. So you've got guidance now. Oh. Um, and I am... all of my stuff. I've just got to hope he doesn't make it critical so that something actually maybe happens. Um, oops, I zoomed in. I don't want to zoom in. I'm going to try this. Oh, what you got? She's charging up Rave Enfeeblement. We're going to try to hit him. We're okay. going to try. Okay. I believe. I don't. Okay, no. so this energy beam just kind of, mm, but you can't focus that. enough. She's, she's, she's yeah. She's trying to not hit Brooks, and that would be a disaster. <laughs> and she's still just kind of. She's trying her best, but she's really sh shaking, okay. shaking. That's it, because that right. was guidance. And she's shaking and quaking. Okay, still good, still good. All right, um, it's Matt's turn. Uh, he is going to mount his fire drake. Oh no, he's not. There's an Ernie right in front of him. Um, first action. Coup de gras. <laughs> yeah. I'm up! <laughs> they call you the finisher. <laughs> I still know if it's part of it, so formidable. He's going to <laughs> he's going to use his tail to pick up Ernie. Oh, he's a stride, pick up Ernie, and third action, dunk. <laughs> um, and so he's going to dunk you in the pool. There's still healing in there, he just used a couple charges. Um, oh, wait, that's a seven, not a one. That's 19 points of healing. Woo! Ooh. And you're like drenched as this viscous red, what was once blood, but now is this life. But still tastes like blood magically. Yeah, we have established <laughs> it's canonically taste and has the exact viscosity of blood. Eat it. Um, but it's not. Just dripping off of you, and he like looks at you. You're like in his tail right now, he's looking at you. Are you well? No, <laughs> but thank you. I come. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And then he There's... drowns you. <laughs> That's all of Ismet's turn. Brooks, you're up. Uh, Hold his head under until the bleeding stops. <laughs> uh, so I, He's not I have he one hand on the, the shard. I'm going to take my fire fork and try and wedge it in and like... Ooh, make an uh, attack. Do that. Do that little motion. Okay, make an attack. You do have a plus one. <laughs> I do. Hold it up a small. It's dinner time. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I have yeah. a bonus because I'm fucking overwhelmed as shit. <laughs> Let me see what that is. Plus, <laughs> Plus one. Okay, so 24. To hit? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I'll try it again. It's probably okay. not going to... It's probably worse, but... You can roll that 20. Okay. There's always a 5% chance of that. There's also a 5% chance. Oh wait, there's one more than that. Twenty. What did I say? Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Mm -hmm. Is that his? Is he flat-footed from anything? I'm on his back. So. You're on his back. <laughs> I'm on his back. Yeah. No. Okay. Sorry. Uh, I'm not taking it easy on you guys. I'm sorry. Okay, that's not as good. But that would hit his flat-footed AC. Okay, so that's a miss too. Uh, okay, so I'm kind of like stabbing at it, but I'm just gonna, as my third action, use it as like a wedge to help me pull okay, it out. Go ahead. With an athletics check. 25, 20, well, 25, yeah. 25? You've got the fighter's fork in there and you're. Uh, it's like so frustrating. It's like when you know something's about to come loose, but you just can't get the leverage. You just can't get the strength to get it out. Okay. Doesn't bet. Doesn't well, budge. that's what I'm doing. Okay, you got it. Okie dokie. Give this man scoliosis. Um, <laughs> sorry, Wesley's up. know much else to do except smack him a bunch. <laughs> You're not bloodied yet, but he is hurt. Like, you've done significant damage. You guys have done if only I could over him damage properly. If I can hit him, I can do some damage, but I'm bad at hitting stuff. Yeah, I mean, all I can think of is make a stride and try to climb his back one more time. Okay. The beast with three backs, so it'll be. <laughs> oh my god. 
can't roll above a five this whole game. So ten to the, I guess there's some music again. 18's not gonna do it. So instead, is not gonna do it. I'm sorry. Just swing at him from like slip off and just like try and catch myself like with my sword and like kind of fall down a little bit. Okay. Uh, it's a 31 to hit. 31 does hit absolutely. Eleven. Damage? Yeah. We like that. Okay, good hit. Sorry, it took me a lot of math. That's okay. <laughs> we're all a little we're all a little on edge here. Alright, is that it for Wesley? Yep. Ernest. Try, try to climb. I believe it's Kai next. Oh I'm so sorry, yeah, because you're way up. Kai. Okay. He's in my face. I'm angry. Four. <laughs> but not that angry. Not angry enough. Not angry enough. Better than three. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah, just bitch, the, the bullet boys. goes wide. Um, I mean, I have time for this as a shot, so I could very easily just. And we're taking another. Yeah, we're gonna take another shot. Okay. So reload and shoot again. Please hit. Um. Okay, that is. I think that's eighteen, which I think is a big miss for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eighteen with the multiple attack penalty. Mm -mm. Sorry. Here I am. I mean, he missed me twice, so fair is fair. firing out. Yeah, he's missed you guys a couple of times with his giant bonuses. It's crazy. So he is swinging. This is now a full-on frenzy, and you can see. Yeah, we're, like, wrestling each other, so that, so it's it's like I'm trying to get the gun pointed at him. And it's at first, there was this, like, like terrible grimace of, like, pure hatred. But you can see, like, it's turned into a much more wicked smile. He's enjoying it every moment of this. Every time you hit him, every time you miss... Every time he misses, he's getting more and more energized, and he's en enthralled in the love of battle right now. So that's gonna bring us to Ernie now. To yeah. Top. So what is left in the? Pool? Oh, he's in the aura though, but it's not his turn yet. Sorry. What? How many charges appear to be left? One. Okay. A drink. <laughs> you drink. Okay. Two D eight plus five. Uh huh. Slorp. Ooh, max. Max. Double eight. Twenty one. <laughs> Twenty one healing. So, I'm in the, he's dunked me with the tail at this point, and I do the like, and then I do like the two tugs on the dragon tail. <laughs> I'll, just I'll just let you drown without uh, you. No, I'll let you down. Oh! There's nothing left to drown him, he drank yeah. Is Ismet on the back of this dragon? Uh, no, because he had to move over to get you. Is there a saddle? Huh? Is there a saddle there's on a saddle. the dragon? <laughs> yeah, there's a saddle. Grand theft. I, no, I'm not, I, I turn to Ismet and I say, "All right, can, can you get us back in there?" And I pull a like a potion out of my pocket and I like start trying to climb up behind the saddle. <laughs> Ismet just goes, <laughs> <laughs> "Okay." As I say, I stop and I'm like, "Oh no, bro. Uh -uh. All right, y'all go, I'll catch up. <laughs> I drink a potion I've got in my pocket, I start <laughs> running back towards the battle. So action That's drink so and then stride, stride back to, back to the battlefield? Yeah. Well, drink, drink, stride. Yeah. Oh yeah, drink, drink, stride, so you're halfway back to the battlefield. Yep. All right. <laughs> Good that sip, take a trip. All right, let's make a fort save for the brown mold. Big. Mega, mega crit. Like Critical fail. Critical, critical, critical. critical. <laughs> Critical, critical, critical. Like he succeeded um, on death. It's growing on him, but you can see his natural fortitude is so powerful, his blood is just pumping out the, the poison as fast as it comes in towards him. All right, annoyed with a foot missing, he's gonna lean down and <laughs> try and grab Kai. Oh no, 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 don't do that. No, we don't like, you don't like that. squeeze. 29 versus AC. That does, does it. this have the manipulative action? Um, <laughs> it's, no, okay. it's an attack. Does it, do all attacks he, have manipulative? He's grabbing know. an object. I don't he's not know. grabbing an object, he's grabbing a creature. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> At one point, I transitioned from creature to object rather quickly. because <laughs> <laughs> you died. It's the same thing. All right. I have seen. S no. No. Not now. Not now! I mean, it's not on the ground. Not like this. Scale, so I wouldn't yeah, no, it. it's not. It doesn't, it doesn't say manipulate. Deadly reach is what I have. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, okay. All right, so you're going to take the damage from the initial grab of him grabbing you in his big. Big hand. Me, me, that. Um, that's 23 points of piercing, technically. So as he squeezes you, um, he's going to use one action to first rip and tear. 
He's going to take the axe and like pulling your arms apart, like with his pinky and the other oh. arm. He's going to splay you like this in his hand. Then he's going to take the axe very carefully and just slowly rip across your chest. So, rip and tear, you have to be grabbed. Uh, oh, why do I hear the Doom soundtrack? You know what? Um, the grab is not automatic. I think I messed up a I think a lot here. of things, like, they get a use they get, an action Use the action free. grab. So, I should, I'm should. i going to assume that I haven't been messing up that bad. I'm just going to roll and see if I... Okay, I don't think I would have missed any of these grabs with his athletics, so I don't feel terrible about missing this. For you... He's got you grabbed. I'm not even going to do the math right now. He's got you grabbed. All right. And he's going to rip and tear, just slicing across you. All right. I did forget to roll, so I did fuck up in a major way, but I did just do sort of... Retro. It would have been very hard for him to mess up, so I apologize for that, but a lot going on. Um, so as he is rip and tear, um, he's going to do slashing damage to you. You need to make a reflex save, actually. Uh-huh. Wait, was that his first roll with Tinder mm -hmm. Oh! Oh, that was his first roll. Oh, hang on, here we roll. Sure. Please, please. Nat one. Oh. Big fan! Nat one. <laughs> Wait, the hinder foe. Yeah. Does that make it a, well, you wouldn't be able to grab on anyone. Really, it misses. Yeah. Everything I said is gone, so oh. sorry. I forgot the hinder foe was there from chat. So as he goes to swipe at you, you see this idea of like, him pulling you apart, and then you see it, it flashes in your eyes, and he just whoop. Sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm on you the stress mode. You brought honor to us all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was, it was chat. It's, it's, it's safe. It's, it's a sampling. Yeah. <laughs> it's legal, and it's... Uh, I didn't want it. It wasn't well plugged enough. We'll get it in post. We'll get it in post. It was less than three seconds. We're fine. The mouse, the mouse has two years no. in it. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's domain, too. Do not utter his name. So, um, I give you enough. Dang, bud. I'm sorry. Uh, it's just going to go ahead and... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that it missed. That was great. Oh. Slice. <laughs> Multiple times in a row. Just right now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, no ripping, just carry. 21 versus AC. Miss. <laughs> well, now he's sad. No, now he's no. mad. <laughs> all right. Now we have a chance. All right, all right, all right. that's the end of my turn. He's no, he did too. So he misses with the hand, he misses with the slicer. I don't know I mean, how. He tried to foot me. He tried to foot me. What? He, he went Yeah, foot. he tried to hands. stomp him. Oh, I did try to stomp already. Yeah. Oh, that would have been the first roll then. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're good. He's done. He's done. He's, He's done. Done. We're done. Cordelia, you're up with this man on deck. He takes three points of fire damage. Yes, he's still on fire. He's still on fire. <laughs> yes. wow. we, we his brain is it. burning. Um, and so is his face. Yeah, I mean, it's like... There's... Really mathematically, he shouldn't be missing you guys at all. This is ridiculous. Yeah. He's been rolling like me, and I'm going to say that's a good trade-off. <laughs> yeah. He has um, plus 19, then plus 16 to hit. Oh, that's, my God. Yeah. There's no reason to be missing this stuff. As someone who dodged a whole round and then ate a whole round, it catches up. Well, yeah. three <laughs> three entire rounds have been dodged so far. All right. I'm uh, glad. She's going to pull out the butcher's knife and second verse, same as the first, only she's going to try and go for like his hamstring, like his ankle. Okay, I'm going to say he's facing you now. But the way he's oh, is he? Because Kai, Kai moved to the patch of things, so he's now facing the other way. Oh, you still his hamstring. I thought you he, still I, see that? I thought he was still his back to me. Mm-mm. You moved around the yeah, I moved around, but he, but she ran to where I was because that was where Ernie was falling down, right? So he's got his front to her. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, got it. He's, he's <laughs> mapping it, and his, he's got. I'm essentially just trying to weaken one leg so that maybe we can sure. knock him over. Twenty-five does not hit. Twenty-five is his flat. <laughs> this is flat for the Love that. Um, man. I just, I can't. I roll 12 or this little. I have to roll very high. Oh, it's a bunny. I can't do anything. Well, there's only one person who hasn't gotten guidance yet, so. Ernest? <laughs> <laughs> she sees you booking it behind her. Just Paul on a shark gun, washing off that potion. All right, is that it for you? And you feel the very unnerving, cold presence that uh, usually follows her guidance. Yeah. That was three. Okay. Um, Ismet is going to uh, use an action to command his mount, um, and it's going to stride, and he's going to command his mount to stride again. So you see coming around the corner, this fire drake. It's scales red and leathery, not fully formed hardened scales like a dragon, but softer and, um, again, more leathery. Its wings kind of malformed and tucked back down by its spikes. You see Ismet 
riding on it, his like great two-handed sword in his hand, and he's just going, Voice the rule! <laughs> um, so, command, command, as this mount gets into battle. Bless um this tiny boy. <laughs> and then Ismet is now close enough, and he is going to, um, because his mount's faster, he's going to get up there, and he's going to strike. And he hits. The cleaver comes down. How come he can hit stuff? Uh, I don't know. Unlike us. <laughs> Uh, and he does some significant damage as he whoosh, slices across uh, the the leg as he hits with the claymore and he almost falls off of his mount uh, from the, the the sheer weight of it. All right, Brooks, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna pull, keep pull, pull, still, attempting. Still on the back. Yeah, yeah. Still, still, feet, still pulling. Like, now I, I want to hit him because I have a damage bonus right now and I want to use it. <laughs> if you get the thing oh, out of him, maybe it'll weaken 29. him. Twenty-nine. Does hit? Yes. Okay. Fucking finally. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to wedge it in. The rage consume me. Oh, the rage consume me. Ooh. 22. D damage? Mm -hmm. d d damage? Mm -hmm. Wow. Hang on. I don't think I can hit him again. So that's just me hitting that. That's you getting a firm grip with a fighter's yeah. fork before you try to wedge it out. And then I'm going to try and <clears throat> pull it this time. It's minus five. Yeah, there's no way. It's bloody. 28. Ooh. 28. To hit? To Kay. pull. Oh, to pull. To pull the gemstone. Mm. This time you physically hear a ripping as you see bits of flesh, and then you're like, oh shit. This thing is longer than I thought. Like, when you, <laughs> you ever go to pull something out, or like, this is gonna be gross, but like when you pop a pimple, and you're like, there was so much more than I thought! There's more stone than you thought. As you. I kind of imagine like a. You can now. Like <laughs> no longer can you hold onto a weapon and this thing. So you can either drop your weapon right now. Or you can let the thing slide back in. You Do cannot wield a weapon and hold this with both hands. Uh, okay, I'll drop the weapon and hold on to the. Okay, your the fighter's fork clangs to the ground, and now you have both hands on it. You have made another. Yeah, I have one more action. You've made another inch of progress. So I have another action. You got double hands. It's heavy and it's deep putting, in there. I'm putting you feel a foot his body. into like the Ooh. sort of the because I imagine there's like some. Cavity. Cavity kind of <laughs> appearing on the side. I'm going to stick my foot into that and pull. Okay. <laughs> Probably some stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. 22. Not enough. You're putting your multiple attack penalty on this, right? For athletics? Mm hmm. Uh, so that'll be 25 less. Okay, make sure, yeah, make sure you're doing that in the future. He is. It's just. The hand is just shaking and you're just trying to pull it. You're close. And you're like, this thing is going to give soon. You're close. Okay. Okay. I'm doing my part. <laughs> <laughs> Wesley, then Ernie. Oh, sorry. Wesley, then Kai, then Ernie. All right. Uh, let's see. Wesley, then Shoot, Kai. reload, shoot. So reload. I'm just trying to keep track of this. <laughs> it's Wesley. Me first. Yeah, Wesley, Wesley then, then Kai. Kai. I, I'm sorry. I was I'm going to do that. Same thing. We're again. all just, we're going to try and climb the beast. <laughs> <sighs> 23 probably doesn't climb. Uh, 23 does not make it up the climb, I don't think. No, not quite. What are these dice? Oh, that's the best I've rolled in a while. Yeah. Uh, what does so melting DC? 29. They're killing us. Yeah. Oh, once again, slide down. Okay. Shoot. And I see where the claymore hit. I'm gonna bring my sword there too. Uh, 30. 30 does hit. Nice. Damage up. 7 plus 4 is 11 again. He's looking pretty beat up. He is now smiling. The blood is flowing from his ankles. Like a again, like a big boss of your game. You're like, I hit the point. It's just blood is gushing from this foot. It's like pouring all over Ismet and his Drake and all over Wesley. Lead him to the pool. And he's just <laughs> smiling. The, the veins just surging. <laughs> okay. Now. Okay. I'm gonna take a stride backwards okay. and reload. So I'm gonna move back 25, reload, and uh, try to take another shot at him. Go for it. No, I'm not gonna take another shot at him. Um, I need to wait. This is important. I need to wait. Okay. Waiting to take a shot. Yep. Tell me quick, which direction did you stride, east or west? East or west? 
West is towards Ernie, yeah, East is saying. back towards Cordelia. You just walked backwards? Yeah, I walked backwards, so I was facing back towards the stadium, so I think that is... It's whatever direction he was facing. East, east is what I think Okay, so you're on yeah. the east side. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Ernie. All right. Uh, I... Do I have a good enough vision to see um, Brooks kind of up on this thing? Have you used your action to stride yet? I used my action to stride at, at the end of my last one. Yeah, you can, you can see Brooks. All right, so I'm going to take another stride to kind of get back up into the mix, but as I'm running up there, I am reaching in and grabbing... Uh, my climber's kit with the grappling hook and the rope <laughs> and like with my second action he's got the thing and he's like trying to tug it and i'm gonna try to like <laughs> like throw the rope up around and like help secure on around the thing that he's pulling on as he's kind of like got enough out to have a little bit of a, okay, a, ledge. a secret roll <laughs> yeah um, you, you roll the range attack roll because if it critically fails it seems no all right <laughs> My range attack is a plus 14. Okay, got it. So, okay, so. It's on there. All right, uh, is there anything secure nearby? Oh, yeah, there's a big old direction. piece of st Secure is a, kind of a dumb thing to say because he literally walked through the stadium. Right. So like, you could tie it two pieces of the stone stadium that you're next to, but again, he just walked through that. No, wrong okay. the opposite direction. <laughs> so, no, there's nothing secure because well, he can already destroy the everything. He right, but you know, like, yeah, you could put it next to a giant stone. I, I am imagining like the old tie your tooth to a door handle and then slam the door. Okay. I want to get some tautness on this rope so that if he keeps moving away, it'll. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, um, you can tie it to the coliseum. I'm gonna tie it down. All right, you got it. What kind of check do you want for my tying skills? I, I think Ernie's. Good, on it. Good sailing knot. Here yeah, we go. We got it. It's, it's mm. secure. I'm not, I'm not, I'll give you that one. You deserve it. Same kind of Pretty. knot when you're tying a ship. All right, is that so it for Ernie? Like... Yeah. All right. He's got a beautiful bow. <laughs> first things first. Shake it. He's just going to, on his back, shake off everyone off of his back. Reflex save from both of you. Oh, knock the he's, reflex He's save. the only one on the back. Yeah, I failed the point. Oh. Get Brooks off then. Get out. Oh. Roll. Roll. Mm. 16. <laughs> 16? Okay. Down we go. <laughs> you fall prone. I just imagine, like, I, I, I let go of the thing and my, my foot's just like, I'm right. like, Ugh. So either way, there's Walk three me. people at his base, which is Wesley, Ismet, and Brooks. Mm -hmm. On one side, I have Cordelia and Kai. On the other side is Ernie. Mm -hmm. And so he is going to turn. And since he's doing a wave attack, I'm just going to roll even odd. We don't really know which way his ire is going to go. What's it say? Even? Even. Ah. So, uh, Ernie, you're fine because he turns towards <clears throat> everyone else and he's going to use Staggering Quake as he <laughs> hits the ground with every force he can muster. This is a reflex save? Reflex save. Everyone roll a reflex save. Everyone. Except, Except Ernie. for Ernie. Yay. Yeah, the reflex. Great job, team. <laughs> oh, Good job, Ernie. Maybe. Ernst. I might survive this. Mm, well, I don't think okay. that's going to be high enough. Oh, I didn't critically fail. And I need to roll for Ismet as well. Oh! Natural 19 for Ismet. Nice. Dang. I thought that was a Well bad met, Ismet. That's one better than me. That's seven better than me. And his reflexes. All right, y'all ready? Mm. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Ismet takes no damage. Oh, oh nice. Oh. Ismet crit successes. So you watch him, and the, the, the drake actually flies momentarily, and then it plops back down as he avoids a staggering quake. Jumping over like horror lose Earthshaker, just, whoop, I'm out of that. All right, you're looking for, what you got? 28. That's a pass, take half damage. 21. Fail, take full damage. 32. Pass, take half damage. 26. Say again? 26. 26 yes. is a pass, take half damage. All right, and then full you damage. were in it. Uh, the full damage is 200. 21 points of bludgeoning damage so half as the 11. earth, half is 11, half as damage. the earth <laughs> comes over you and <laughs> splits. Mm -hmm. uh, did anyone, I'm sorry, there's more. <laughs> oh, but wait, I don't think anyone's more. failed uh, this before. But wait, there's more. He's only used it one I, time. Well, yeah. he's used it 
three times now, but it's only uh, got it once. If you had a failure, you are slowed one for your next turn. Oh, okay. That's great for you. Okay. All right. For me. No, I was saying, <laughs> okay, the, I thought it was going to be more damage. Yeah, yeah as, the, as the earth staggers you, you're just going <clears> to... <throat> so on failure, take full and you take the, the stagger. All right. Glad no one critically failed. All right. That's it for <laughs> Oofrog. Okay. That's a very real possibility. Three points of fire damage. Oh my god, please stop the burning. No, keep no, it up. No, keep it up. We don't need no, we're burning! The fire's gone! Let that from me. <laughs> the fire's gone! He's he's hurting you. Y'all put the hurt on him. He's not on death's door, but like, you're like, we could potentially win this, or he could murder us all. Alright. Who's up? After Uthrog, it's Cordelia's turn. Uh, okay. Big rock. Um, I did the the rope that's tied to it's on the complete other opposite side for me, and mm -hmm. even if I could, my strength is nothing to write home about. Um, so instead, she's gonna the the butcher's knife that missed that's hypothetically now a little behind him, maybe she's gonna grab it and pull it back towards her and try to jam it into the back of his leg. Okay. Because at this point, this is the only thing that she might be able to hit him with. <gasps> Natural 20. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for, a, for a 34. A 34. Uh, okay. So that would be a hit, and now it's a crit. <laughs> Kill him and get the fury. <laughs> oh, no. But, but what if? Ooh. Good. Okay. Um, are dice doubled? Everything's done. Yeah, Every, everything. Everything? Ooh. Um, 24 um, points of piercing damage um, as she pulls the butcher's knife back through his leg. Like it actually, like she threw the knee back through the leg. And he like stumbles for a second as the blood comes out and it comes back towards you and just like starts flying. Um, just like back towards her. Jesus. She like catches it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bloody. Okay. Um, she's like, yeah, that actually worked. <laughs> but, but now he's facing me. <laughs> Shield. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think he sees the, yeah. the blade ripped through his leg. He's like, that's the most damage I've taken in one point. And then he sees... <laughs> oh, hi. A worthy Shield. opponent! <laughs> <laughs> he's just going to squash oh, no. me. <laughs> um, okay. Hmm. Ismet's turn. Um, he's going to command. No, fuck, I can't. Can't! Um, he is going to command Drake to move around, so he's going to get behind him, and he's going to go ahead, and he is going to, um, use his great sword again. How <laughs> Um, one off from a crit. Mm. So, Ooh. he swings. Um, and it's going to come down upon him. God damn, Ismet. 18 points of damage. Damn. Damn, Ismet. How do we make friends with this little dude? Uh, math is hard. He should join our crew. He's got these. No, he doesn't. All right, and the next one misses, but he cleaves over. <clears throat> and then he steadies his sword back up. Yeah. Ugh. We have this! <laughs> you're All doing right. great. <laughs> All right, Brooks, you're up. Uh, so one action I'm going to grab my spider's fork, and my second action I'm going to hit him with it. Okay. Oh, don't even Stab. And that's my only two actions. Hopefully I can hit him. hi yeah. I can't stab. No. Um. 20. To hit? Two. Mm-mm. It's not gonna do it. The fire spark hits his ankle and it bounces off of his thick and hard skin, like armor, just bouncing off. Oh, oh my two actions. All right, Ern Kai, Kai, Wesley, Wesley. Wesley. Yes. All right, I'm just bad. Uh, at this. I see the rope. It seems secure, but I want to help it out, so I'll grab the rope and just start like pulling and trying to run like in the up. Okay, it immediately comes straight out loose. <laughs> the, the rope crit failed. Uh, Dang. <laughs> You ruined so, it, you, Wesley. Yeah. <laughs> so you see Wesley just yank your rope out. What the fuck, man? <laughs> I know how to tie better. Um, and then I'll jump and try to 
grab the stone that's sticking out. So okay. So you're going to... Another athletics to just grab the stone. All right, let's go for it. Ah, natural 20 for a 34. Ah! <laughs> All right, so you're bear hugging the stone now. And then brace it with my feet. And, and you just can try see to... the yank with my, my whole torso. All right, that's another athletics. With your got multiple attacks. also has a plus one, which with the multiple attack, it's going to be a plus 10 to the roll. Big money, no whammy. Nope, another three. Damn it. <laughs> All right, so you're like bear hugging it. And you're like, this thing is like... And you're trying to pull it up, and it is heavy. It was a good jump. That was a good jump. in there. You just leapfrogged on there, got your hands on it, and you can't do it. All right. Kai. Yeah, there you go. Fine. I got it. I, I finally grabbed Posting it. Posting out hard yeah. to read. <laughs> All right. You rolled a three. So Why can't look like W? <laughs> All right. Do you want the dice, too? Now we're taking... Dice at this point. Oh, no. The is dropping. Now we're taking the spell strike, because I have enough actions for it. So that's why you waited. Ooh, gross. I, I'm not a hero points, I think. I am at. You, it says one. I'm pretty sure I used one. You got before. one from chat, though. Did you use the one from chat? I don't, not already? yet. You didn't oh, use that okay. One then, yes, hero points. Let's go. Uh, no, you know what? Fuck you. You're bad. <laughs> You're bad dice. You were kind. Naughty. Face. Think Naughty. about what you've done. Ooh. All right, there we go. Uh, 31 to hit. It does hit. All yes. right, perfect. Finally. Um, but I really only need this because Tanglefoot! Okay. So uh, he takes four points of uh, Gun piercing damage. damage. Okay. As the bullet finally finds finds purchase in his thigh, mm-hmm. and then uh, vines whip out and go like kind of sticking him to the ground. So he's gonna take a minus ten uh, penalty to his speed for one round. Because it's an attack <laughs> roll, so he doesn't get a save. Ha ha! <laughs> his saves are too strong. I'd never use those. <laughs> It doesn't have a save. Some it does stuff not, does have, it does a, not have like a save. A, no. His speed's only 30 now. Curses. Oh no. Shit. I can still I reach everyone. Okay, let's see. <laughs> With his reach. Yeah. Two actions. I'm just gonna back up. <laughs> How many feet did you say? We need just Cordelia. <laughs> uh, oh no, you're squishier than me. I, I don't feel good about No, I mean, you can. It's fine. But he's gonna come after you anyway, though, yeah. because you just hurt him uh, bad. It's between her and Isma at this point. Yeah, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah. I'm a backup. <laughs> yeah, she's like, Kai, we've got this. Yeah, wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, wait. <laughs> <laughs> you just turn and he's gone. <laughs> right. All right, cool. That's, that's, uh, that's my turn. Your grandpa knows he's gone. <sighs> Fuck it, Wesley. All right, I'm gonna run up. I'll that's run. the most powerful member of your crew. I, but not anymore. Uh, <laughs> I run up and I get within, like, I, I'm gonna flank. Uh, the giant with Brooks. Okay, stride. That's uh, so one. that's one stride. And I'm gonna come in dagger hot and try to stab at a toe. <laughs> Sounds great. Slice a toe off. Uh, 30. Thank you. Ooh. Hit. Thorn in the toe. Let me practice my stabbing. <laughs> 14 points of damage. He's gonna grab you, he's gonna kill me. Did I get the toe as a trophy? <laughs> uh, you slice off a toe. You nice. slice off an entire I go for the next one. Toe. Awesome. He's, so <laughs> He's on death door. Is he going to finish? Really? Like <laughs> <don't> finish. <laughs> I did not roll well, and I don't have any hero points. Uh, that would be a 19 to hit, which is on. A, I need you to not. finish him before it gets to his turn. I uh, tried. That me. was my chance. I'm out now. No, you'll be. Uh, <laughs> and then he takes a five foot step back. Not that it matters with this guy. You did how much damage? I just did... 18? Yeah, something like that. You did 18, Isma did 18. She only did like 20. I did 22. 20, 22. Let's roll off again. Was it 24? It was 24. Oh, it was 24. I wish she was still on fire just so I could steal the kill. <laughs> That'd be funny. I did 24. Isma is the third thing I said, so you're number two. Uh, hi. That's the second time, I swear to God, that's a two. So you were in the order that I said that. I promise I'm not picking on you. <laughs> no, I rolled fine. twice for that tonight. Mm-hmm. He's gonna. How does he kill me? He's gonna, well, he's gonna stride, which okay. provokes attack of opportunity from Ismet. Question, do I get to attack if I'm on this ground? You're riding. No. He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't leave your space. Yeah, I was gonna try and use it to Ismet gain. hits. I was gonna mm-hmm. use, use his momentum to also pull again. <laughs> Ismet takes a strike. No! 
And he slices, and it comes an overhead arc, and the flames lick up from the blade, and it cuts into his, like, tendon. And you can see he's now running with bone exposed in the back of his leg. A whole chunk, like 30 pounds of flesh come off. And he does not even notice. He just runs up to Cordelia. Oh, dear. And he just snatches with the hand. Hello. Your shield can eat 15 damage. My shield can eat 27 versus AC. Yeah, that hits. Okay, so that's going to be a, a GURB. My shield's got a hardness of 5. So that's going to be a GURB. Oh. It should be higher. It should be higher. It should be, higher. It should be level just, 3. It should be 10. Oh, is it 10? Yeah. Oh, it is 10. All right. Um, that is 10 plus 12. 22 Same. points of piercing damage, okay. technically. So, because I've never used the shield before, does that eat it eats 10 of reaction. the damage? And yes, it eats 10 damage. And you said 21? Mm-hmm. 20, oh. uh, 22. 22. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still up. Warflins. Oh, there it is. I'm no longer up. <laughs> oh! Yeah, natural 19, so. It doesn't crit or anything, it just says so. he succeeds. As um, he starts to squeeze, Ernie, having seen this before, uh, is going to reach up his hand, and you see like a boom come out near his chest, and then Ernie's entire body kind of just squeezes up, and I'm taking the damage. Huh? I mean, he did it once before with uh, yeah. oh, Frederick. Yeah. This is a. Oh. You sure? He's, he's stealing the damage. Yeah. Okay. Because. Gotta steal everything. Off. 30 points of bludgeoning. Okay, Ernie, you hear like ribs breaking and Ernie's just sitting there like visibly like being constricted, getting the full impact of what just happened. Okay. You're you are fun. slowed. Uh-huh. You are suffocating. No, yeah. I am slowed. I get all of the effects of what happens. You are oh. slowed. You are suffocating for this round. And at the end of her turns, you're going to take the, the damage. I think it's just for the one. No, it's just for one round. Yeah, this is still the same round, buddy. Um, the round is everybody, so whenever the extra effect happens, you're going to take that too. Okay. That's how rounds work. All right. Cordelia, you're up. Oh. You're inside of them, but you're <laughs> and I'm like not dead. strangely not being crushed right now. Um, interesting. Um, Can you see? Is it round or turn? Uh, so what it says is, I forge a conduit to the ally's soul and absorb the injury to protect them. I receive the damage. I also take any additional effects associated with the transferred damage, such as poison, uh, fire damage, uh, like conditions. Okay. So that would be the crushing. Crushing. Sure. All okay. right. Okay. Um. So I think from that individual attack, anything that would be transferred from it. Then... Okay. Whatever she's talking about. Uh, I can't do much from inside the hand, but here we go. Um, Damn it. Yeah, I mean, that's the only thing I can <laughs> do because I don't think I can telekinetic projectile anything from inside of him because I can't see anything outside of the hand. Hi, hand. Well, you caught the knife in there. I did catch the knife. Send it back out. Yeah, just send it back out. <gasps> All right, so okay, you are, yeah, you are yeah, grabbed, sure. slowed, and suffocating still. Oh, so I don't say anything. <laughs> it is verbal. It is verbal. Um, oh, which will make her lose all her hair and fall mm-hmm. unconscious if it does yeah. not fail. Um, well, shit balls. Um, cool. I, I do have a... We have hair. A, I have a sickle. <laughs> Slice. <laughs> He's flat-footed against you on the inside. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, cool. The yeah, then then I'm going to... I'm gonna go ahead and try to try, try to try smack. Get a try smack from the inside. Eighteen. Doesn't make it, unfortunately. Um, One more try. We have we have three. Right? I have three. I gotta roll. I don't. Oh well, he's flat-footed. Oh god, I gotta roll a nineteen. I gotta roll a nineteen. Well, there's always a you know five percent chance. Nineteen. Uh, I, I, I'm just here, boys. <laughs> All right. At the end of your um, turn, you're inside, and he is just squeezing. And suddenly, like, you felt like, you're like, oh, he didn't squeeze at all. And then it all comes crushing in. Cool. I'm going to... Oh, no. I do have one action left. I'm no, correct. you're slow because you're on the inside. Oh, yeah. okay. Never mind then. Yeah. Um, you're going to take... 
24 points of bludgeoning. Yep. I'm uh, down. You guys, right. you guys watch the little blood splurt from his hand. Ah. Like one little limp Cordelia hand just like hangs on the <laughs> edge. <laughs> Alright. No. Ismet's turn. At least I kept her from dying too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, or dying three, right? Because you were already wounded one, Mm-mm. right? Oh, no, I, no, 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 no. I hadn't gone down yeah, yet. I'm the one playing okay. with fire. All right. <clears throat> He's playing with fire. <laughs> Ismet is going to stride. Uh, He's going to stride over there. And he takes his first swing. And it just goes wide. Second swing. Natural 20. Oh! oh <laughs> Ismet for the kill. Become the baby. The salamander of fury. <laughs> yeah. Valor! <laughs> he jumps up in the air really and just stabs into the thing's spine, and Uthrog collapsed. The hand still clutching around Cordelia. The fo- the sword stabbing into it. Well fought. And then beneath him. Uthrog twitches. Uh, he's too. <laughs> and you watch if he is felled and the gemstone is still within him. You watch the gemstone. Uh, can I try to contest that since I'm still holding it? You can try. This is this is do or die right now. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, hero point. No. What I got is a surplus of threes. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a circus of threes. So you watch as the stone begins to sink deeper and deeper and deeper into his spine. And now you watch as the flesh begins to like sap up around it. And you see like the body is dying. There's blood coming from him. But you watch from the crystal. These veins begin to spread and then you hear the heart start beating faster and faster Ismet just goes (laughs) he's still on the ground Wesley you have a hero point Wesley it is your turn Uh, I mean I see the isn't it my turn oh I'm so sorry Brooks it's your turn that's right Um, it was Brooks turn Okay, well, I'm gonna run over there. Okay. It's closing up. Um, so I guess I'll... The the stone is now, like, sunken into the flesh and being, like, hugged and, like, swallowed by it. You, It looks almost like Uthrog's body is now serving as, like, it's, like, consuming the stone. Instead of being in, embedded within Uthrog, it's more like... The vessel is using like, the stone is using Uthrog as some sort of like meat puppet. In this Aww. there might not be any Uthrog left. Uh, okay. Well, I'll get up. So to he's it. like prone on his face, right? He's flat on his face. the The malformed fist still has Cordelia. His other one's like laying flat with the axe in it. He is prone on the ground. For you guys, that, that's where he is right now. I don't really have any spells that can help this. I don't think. So I'm going to. Uh... Okay, so I'm gonna try and tackle it and kind of use like whatever give I can maybe get to it. Just like if you get it, out. you can stop this from happening. I can't use that when I brush it. So I just have to roll really high. Just roll well. Okay. Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> 20. So you, you budge against it and it just like hurts your shoulder, like cracks into you. It's like running through his. Thickened skin and the stone itself is just too much. I think you have one action left because you stride. You can try again. Try it again. So I, it's like I, I kind of tackled it and I'm holding still. I'm just gonna like try and like, shove it in. Mm-hmm. So I get plus five to this now. Natural twenty. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Come on, bro. you shove and you see the crystal like, like starts shining, almost like it's. 
fighting back against you you can see the flesh like the like symbiote spider-man like the the his actual muscles are like grabbing oh. onto it like little like little leeches and they're ripping off and it's now coming dislodged like a like a tooth that's hanging on the edge of the tongue it's not out but you have dislodged it and it's no longer sinking in but hanging on the fleshy ends of him that's I'm it for you those cords because wesley now it's my turn slice <sighs> no hero point that again okay you have a hero point from uh, red shellfish 33. Huh. <laughs> All right, you're specifically slicing. Go ahead and do your damage. Uh, 10. Okay. You can see the body begin to like convulse like, on the ground. I mean, I'm gonna blow through my panache and just go for like a confident finisher to just try and, you know, keep just furiously like whacking okay. at Okay, what it. you're gonna do is every hit that you're making in this specific area is gonna give a circumstance bonus to whoever tries to dislodge it next. Okay. I'll let you guys know you're one away from dislodging this thing. Well, let's see. It's oh. evident from like. Uh, uh no, that's another three. That's so one. Wesley's like hacking but, away. I mean, it still does damage because it's a confident finisher. So if the damage matters, that's eight. Eight is eight. Damage still damage because he's about to get back up. All right. That's oh, and it was also plus three to that first hit. You got it. All right. The hand is still holding Cordelia. Is it? Are like the muscles engaged? Like it's flexed? Like it's still like, dead man's grip? Okay, Fully got mus it. Full muscle. Okay. Um, muscle. Kai like muscle. Kai, Kai is like looking down at that. Um, and then, kind of seeing that, makes a quick judgment and runs over for the uh, the gym as well. And basically, crunch a crest to grab on grab on alongside Brooks in there, and he's he's working together. With Go for him. it. You have the circumstance bonus from Wesley. <sighs> and Brooks. Ooh. All right. Uh, it's a total of 29. And you watch it. There's a huge gaping hole that, like, sighs out of, like, this astral magic that just breathes out. And blood just... And you see, like, ooze, bile, infection. Like, all these, like, scabs just, like, as the crystal gets dislodged fully and tun -tun 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 slides in the ground. And you watch as Uthrog, the body, just kind of, and the hand opens up. Right. And the avatar, <laughs> of, and the avatar of the fury <laughs> is quelled. Go donkey with it. I think you have to be able to drink it. It's quiet. Ismet stands. <laughs> it's a thumb. Uh, okay, well, Kai's got a potion, so he's gonna stand like stand up and walk over to the the frail corpse of Cordelia. And just yeah, <laughs> I'm pulling fingers back away yeah. from her mm -hmm. tiny little bird bones. Okay, All right. <laughs> uh, I've got two. In fact, take two minor healing. He just he just doubles like <laughs> both of them in, in your mouth. Edward forty heals. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I will happily take those. Ooh. I'm back. Back I'm boys. I'm back, baby. <laughs> back boys. Uh, thank, thanks, Ismet. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't sure we were going to make it until you joined the fray. <laughs> Brooks just, you hear like, uh, and he grabs the, that while it's happening. Oh, I might have struck a blow, but not for the mm. fine work of you. I don't think this would have been the end of it. Well thought all. Oh. And now... A break. And now for a break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We will be back in a hot five minutes. We're going to go and we will. Uh... Wow, I guess I could have used the battle map. I did not think you guys were going to fight him there. Um... It got out of hand Where quickly. Was he supposed to go? <laughs> well, I thought you guys were just going to run. There was peer pressure. We had to. Literal peer pressure because <laughs> he attacked the peer. <laughs> well, our ship left, so it was kind of one of those. Hmm. Yeah, and it's like he's and going towards the ship. We had to interpose ourselves. They didn't shoot him. All right. They just kept going. They certainly did not. Well, that's that's, that's the flag back. of their dying. Let's just go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Y'all, we will be back. We will be back in about five minutes. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you for the latter half of the episode. All right, y'all.
I think I just muted us instead of unmuted us. There we go. And we're back! We're back! <laughs> that works better the second time. You hear us now. <laughs> All right. So, in our first half, the first, the more than half, in our first big old chunk, yeah. they won. Wow. <laughs> Despite all odds. Whoops. <laughs> Mat- that mathematically should not be possible, but okay, yeah. here we are. I'm... Bad rolls all around. <laughs> yeah. the, the threes were on fire tonight. There were so many threes. Let's see. Ooh. And I rolled high and I still couldn't do a whole lot. So I got a natural 20. Y'all won with no casualties. Surprisingly. Yeah, so. surprisingly. We're su- surrounded by dead people on this beach. No casualties. <laughs> <laughs> no one we No one no Not one a named. single I mean, one. No named casualties. Besides his like first turn, we kind of stopped him from killing anyone else. Yeah, he got, he got a few people, but like, you can see some of the survivors like in the edges, like hundreds of feet away. Like, over there, like, 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 looking at you guys, like, kind of scooching up. You can see people picking up the debris and, like, looking around, and you can see some people just, like, absolutely, like, just falling to their knees and, like, looking at you, just like they virtually cannot believe. Can the wind fall way? Yeah, and you see the wind fall way on the edge, <laughs> begin to turn back around. Wow. I put wow. down a hat with a few gold pieces in it just to get it started. <laughs> you have to put a couple points in. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I seeded the pot. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like confused, like people are like, do we? And they just throw in. Uh, no, you don't need it. It's, uh, it's eleven gold uh, pieces. Uh, no, you don't. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> You're too kind. Really. Like they're like confused. Like, oh, do we? Like they throw it in. You're supposed then... to tip here. <laughs> you know, you throw like flowers and stuff into the. Come on. No. <laughs> Uthrog's body. Mm. Just begins to shrink and shrivel. The muscles okay. deteriorating, the skin sagging off, the muscles shrinking down to his size until he is just a pathetic, shriveled corpse with a hole on his back. Yay big. Um, you can see the blood has just spilt out of him. There's nothing but, I mean, there's barely any of Uthrog left. His entire bottom, <laughs> bottom uh, of his leg has been cleanly destroyed by multiple attacks to the leg um, and you can see the hole in his back is also just like almost all the way through to his chest. He is felled. Uh, He's just a little guy. I <laughs> I grabbed the crystal. How big is this crystal? Yeah. Right there. How big yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I pick it up and then uh, knowing what I know about the tortoises mm-hmm. um, I turn back to uh, the group um, do I notice anything weird now that like it's removed or like he's dead or like what? That's the what do you mean? Do you notice anything weird? What does that mean? Like because there's always talk about the the fury mm-hmm. being transferred, but I don't know if that was just kind of like metaphorical, metaphorical, like an urban legend or Someone whatever. Crazy. Is, <laughs> is anyone like particularly furious? <laughs> no one seems to be like actually like going absolutely nuts or anything like that um but you can see people just like gathering around but like there doesn't seem to be like a quickening happening where it's like <laughs> <laughs> lightning strike red lightning. none of that none of that seems to be happening at the moment okay so i'll tuck the crystal uh below my arm and say um i think it's time we uh get the fuck out of here <laughs> <laughs> yeah our ship left wouldn't it be nice if we could Okay, I'll, um, I'll tell Emrys to, to let them know we're okay, and I'll send him off so he can fly. I'll also tell them that they're fucking idiots for leaving. <laughs> Told them to shoot him. <laughs> like, oh, I guess that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Too far now, though. <laughs> you see Ismet, like, put his sword in the ground, and take his helmet off and lay it at his feet, and he kneels in front of Uthrag, and I'm again muttering something. Like to himself under his breath. <laughs> do, I, do I hear a little, a little, no, some, some? Thou wert a true and powerful opponent. Or Thank you for gracing us with this battle. May you find rest in whatever beyond you find. And you see that he's just sitting there quietly. 
and you see Ismet just come out. Then his eyes sort of snap open. <laughs> it's and he notices everyone just kind of looks at him. <laughs> He's just not praying. <laughs> Sorry, I was just setting some words for the fell. It seemed appropriate. So, um... Sir Ishmet, uh, what will you be doing now that, uh... your current quarry has been slain? Don't know. Uh, my companion and I have often traveled seeking to do good deeds to honor ourselves and bring on to others. You are some of the finest folk I have met, but I must find a noble cause to attune myself to a quest, a chivalrous quest, if you will. Can we keep him? <laughs> We're not really the chivalrous type. He said a good cause. We're, We're good adjacent. Good-ish. <laughs> We're trying to get a, a Baron's son back to his home. The son of a Baron, not not B A R R E N. It's a B A R O N situation. I thought it was a Dirk. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> he knows too much. <laughs> He's a traitor. I'm a Duke. He's a kidnapper. I'm a Dukelet. <laughs> He's a Dukelet. He's a Dukelet. <laughs> uh, a log lost. Uh, Duplet? <laughs> Needing to regain honor? Away from family? Perilous adventure? That'd be me. It's Wesley? <laughs> <laughs> it's been Wesley the whole time. <laughs> His yeah. name's actually Eastley. Easton. Yep. East I have amnesia. That's very sad. Um, but we were going to go but it turns out we're all stuck in the sleeping sea until some issue is resolved. Perfect. So we're kind of on a quest to do that. Actually, That's why you might not have realized it yet, stone. but you are also stuck. Yeah, that was including you and the Wii. I'm the royal Wii. He like looks. <laughs> I must be forthright with you. I feel that dishonesty would only betray my cause. I do not know what the sleeping sea is. Oh. You have a map? I don't know where I am. No. Do you know? How'd you get you... here? We brought a boat. Um, and a crust. Um, but those that took me on the boat earlier, um, they are gone now. They have. <laughs> the... What is the word for it? Died? Death. No, no. They Fucked left off. They left me here. Yeah. They I abandoned know. you. They um, marooned. Oh, marooned. marooned. The other M word, word that yeah, the captain doesn't know. Like. I thought them <clears throat> companions, friends of mine, and I asked them to bring me to this island. I had heard, I had heard a calling. I had been summoned to the arena for my renown. And when we reached it here, they said, Oh no! And they <laughs> left. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, in our in, in their defense, we said that a little bit too. Yeah. But originally, I am from a place far, far from here. Um, a land of farms. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, continue. I talk a lot. Sorry. A land of flames. <laughs> uh, not like this one. Everything's so green. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, the sleeping sea is the big blue stuff. I do not care for that. Yeah, it's the opposite <laughs> of where you're from. I don't like that. <laughs> There's a lot of that. But it, our boat's kind of red if you want to get on it. And sometimes it does light on fire. If thou wouldst offer me safe passage, then that would be enough for me to swear myself to your cause. We will offer you passage, yes. Say passage. <laughs> pa yep. Passage. The Sleeping Sea is notoriously dangerous. But isn't it usually pretty gentle? <laughs> The sleeping sea. Yeah. <laughs> the, the sleeping sea. Our crew has a tendency <laughs> to, you know, get it's, into. It's known as the sleeping sea She's because like of vaguely the nightmare gesturing. That you must face. He walks over and he sits on his tail so his knees can be up. <laughs> he takes his blade and he lays it across his Ooh. knees. He bows his head. Oh, you smelt the dragon knight. 
do hereby swear fealty to thee oh God. for as long as you would grant me safe passage through Pass- this sleeping <laughs> sea, and as long as your cause remains noble. I swear to bring you honor and justice with my blood, and do no dishonor to you or your company. Hereby I swear. That was lovely. I... Number here. <laughs> um, Technically, yeah. He's like tapping. He's like waiting for the words back. I uh, accept your pledge and, and swear to provide <clears throat> passage, <laughs> and we'll do our best with the nobility and have a noble cause. Honestly, I've been kind of looking for somebody to help us figure out the whole straight and narrow thing. Oh, I've heard worse oaths before. <laughs> <laughs> this pact is seen. <laughs> Are we to just... Yeah, they ran away. We're kind of waiting for them to come pick us back up. Yeah. Are there not people that need assistance in the meantime? Should we not lend ourselves in chivalry to repairing them and tending their wounds? I mean, actually, I look down and there's just like like yeah. blood just kind of Cordelia's like. kind of like <laughs> leaning very heavily against her staff. It's actually a little bit hard to breathe right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I counted my broken ribs and I counted my unbroken ribs and I passed out doing the subtraction. Usually I'm the one that does the tending and it's a little difficult right now. Yeah, we're all just really put out. But I'll give it a go. Like, like she, like she feels like she doesn't want to disappoint him. <laughs> I mean, I'll help horse as much as I can, but I mostly just I can move to you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, what's uh, Kai haven't heard from you yet? Kai's like has a look on his face like, are we not pirates? <laughs> <laughs> the code is noble. We're per merchants. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it doesn't say pirate anywhere on this code. It says member of the company. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Wait, I think it literally does say member of the company. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You've been nuked. <clears throat> you just hear. <sighs> and you see a hand smack the wall like <laughs> smeared with blood. And you see Olag come around the corner with a splinter still in him. <sighs> and he sees Uthrag dead on the ground. He looks at Cordelia. What have you... What have you done? I was hoping to heal you so you could get back in the fight. You denied me an honorable death. And now... He, like, looks at Uthrag. My purpose... Servants of Fury. And he just sort of like staggers back around the corner and like disappears somewhere around that. And he just stayed on the ground the whole time. He did. <laughs> Do you know, I've got the feeling that I've fucked up yet again. And she'll just kind of start hobbling off towards just anyone who looks like they could need help. Well, if he wants to know about death, he can get it anywhere he wants, probably. I mean, honestly, he kind of fucked it up himself when he got thrown up in the sky like that. Yeah. It did not look noble. He was like, Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> imagine getting thrown, right? <laughs> At least if you're going to get thrown, you got to hit somebody square on. I don't know, I blacked out right before I did, but. Uh, I'm going to just take the crystal and head towards the, the docks. Okay. For... Just haul on this. And people are just like, they're kind of like staring at the crystal. Just wondering what's, what's going on. <laughs> Viscera. Um, you see Ismet, he is like, like on his stride, his drake right next to you, and he taps the crystal, like with his fist, like as you're dragging it, he like taps the bottom of it. Careful, it's very fragile. Tung, 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 tung. <laughs> Brooks and Inquirrel, uh, if I'm, you may hearken to me for a moment. Okay. Does this crystal not seem as if it were sundered in twain? Um, <laughs> I look at it. Indeed. Um, I guess so. 
If this is half of a crystal, would not the other half reside somewhere within this island? Um, I mean, that's an assumption. These things are everywhere. Oh! That's good enough for him. He, he yawns on back towards the boat. <laughs> There's probably another half in his lair. Uh, I say that, but as we walk, I look at it again. Um, the, the part that's cracked, does it seem, well... No, because it's obvious that the other half was not in his body. Mm -hmm. Does it look... The half that you're pulling out looks like it was cracked in a way that like a chunk maybe came out of it. Okay, like the exposed part of it? Mm -hmm. like The part you were pulling out. Like it maybe was like longer and then left mm -hmm. part of the Okay. Okay. I just want to put it on the ship so it's not... Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could ask the captain if this is the whole thing or what. Did your vision show it, any cracking? I don't recall. Yes, it. Well, it was one giant thing, and then it shattered into all of these pieces. It wouldn't surprise me if. But this piece also looks like it's been sundered. Or... Here, let me take a look at it. I'm gonna get a good look with my magical crafting eye to see if I can kind of... Yeah, it's not like a jeweler's can I, Yeah. Can I assist him with that? Sure. It's been stabbed in half. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. We're gonna have to find the rest of it because we only know where two more of these are and they're on an island I don't want to go to if we can help it. <laughs> and how many do we need? Total five? Five. Well, here's the thing. At least like four to five, but um, three of our pieces are attached to turtles that won't live if we use them. So every said... piece we get potentially saves a turtle's life. It's like the ASPCA. <laughs> and unlike people, we care about tortoises. That's right. Well, if we have to kill the tortoises to get out of here, then we have to. If we have this stall... Now I mean, listen, Brooks, I do not disagree with you. I've kind of come around on the turtle thing. If we have to kill them, we have to kill them. But I have found that to be a very tough conversation to have with the crew. And some people don't really care for that kind of talk. So they would rather die Did than the tortoises the die. Kill a turtle and leave the sleeping sea. Mm -hmm. And not die from that inquisitor guy. You know, we could try to pitch it as like, get some extra nestle nooks. <laughs> Tortoise soup for a month. But I still think if we can find the other piece just like chilling up in his house, that'd probably be a better way to go about this. Oh yes, the if stones just chill up in houses. If yeah. it's there, it could be anywhere. It could be attached to like a very angry rat. I mean, if we rest for the evening and the morning, I could... Baldius and I could try. I mean, we should definitely put what we have on the ship, and we should definitely rest, but I just think maybe a quick scouting mission inland might be worth it if we're already here. Because, frankly, even if we do have five, which we only have four, uh, three and a half, the smith seemed to think that the more pieces, the more chance for success. I don't think anything's necessarily a foregone conclusion. The windfall has returned at this point and it's like weighing anchor. You can see Mr. Darrow like bringing the ship in, the sails rolling up and the ship slowing down and you can see the smith himself coming down off the dock um, and towards all of you um, and he sees that. The crystal or Ishmael? Uh, <laughs> that face you made. <laughs> What is that thing? I see you found new company. Is he to be joining the crew? Yeah, he actually did some stuff in that fight. <laughs> That's good to hear. Well met. <clears throat> what about? I am ill smart the dragon mug. I have heard tales. You may make yourself comfortable, and Ernest will see to your quarters and your role upon the ship whenever we 
falling apart. I made a decision. I was the one that commanded the ship to sail out. And understanding what he could do with the earth, I saw the effect it had on the waves. I feared any closer would cause capsizing. I made the command for the ship to sail out. I thought you would make your, mis your escape whenever I saw Wesley's flag. <laughs> we were pulling into position, but you failed the Titan in a matter of minutes. He failed us a couple of times, but yeah. You continue to impress me, and you've brought back a sizable prospect. This will greatly increase our chances. That's well, only half of it. Yeah, we think there's more. If this is half, this would be suitable to count. I do not need more than this. If there was another half, then that would just be a, an additional boon. If you wish so to this see. this is enough with the turf. This is enough for... In it of itself? No, for... For one piece of for the puzzle. For one piece of the puzzle. Oh. Yeah, so again, if we want to save uh, the life of the turtle, we're going to need to go find some more. Or... If we were to utilize the creatures we have a great chance of success of ending this and getting to safety tonight we can return the sleeping sea back to its fate to its normal state and end this curse get the captain away tonight it's a risk I would a calculated risk that I would take with the tortoises and this piece nuts if we found another piece this size, we save what? One tortoise? Two? Or just a better chance? Of just a better chance. Or you could supplement a tortoise and risk it. You're the ones doing the legwork. I'll let you make the decision. It's not my part in place. It's not my place in this to choose. My when you do whatever friend. ritual is going to happen. Do we get out? Or does everyone get out? Have you ever been... I'm told there is something called a dream. Mm. Oh, that's it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've not experienced such a thing, personally. Mm. When you dream... As I understand, you are still within your body, are you not? But what happens to your mind? It plays pictures. Oh. <laughs> In a way, the Sleeping Sea is a dream, but everything is tangible and real. Things that don't make sense are making sense. Places that should not be, creatures that should not have made it here have made it here. And it's been this way since the captain's accident. His mistake. It's not just us that's affecting, it's all of Asteria. I would feel good about ending it, but again, it's not my place to say when to, to do that. But I can do the mending. In a way, when we do this, it's going to be a bit like waking up. I've seen you wake up from your slumber. Creepy. Creeping on us while we sleep, okay. <laughs> oh, I do the rounds. It's often startling. You're often gasping for breath, but very quickly I can see the recognition come to your eyes. You say there's good odds? Well... I don't know about all of you, but I'm not exactly feeling lucky today. <laughs> no, I'm feeling decidedly unlucky today. I say we go for the sure thing. <clears throat> As it stands, I will give you precise numbers because that is the way that I operate. We have an 80% chance of success if we were to go right now. If you bring me one more piece of this star, one more piece of the captain's astral vessel, 
and we sacrifice the tortoises, we can bring that to 100% chance of success. One more piece, not, not the other piece of this crystal, no. but like a whole other that piece. Would, that would no, the suffice. Oh, no. Yeah, that's what he was saying earlier. I don't know if we can do that tonight. We're pretty beat up. But we could One do it day. soon. And do your morning. home is north of here, northwest. Where is Western? North. <laughs> if we left here tomorrow, and headed northwest. The ship chasing us. They're at least three days behind us, and they don't know where we're going. And no ship flying Star Hill colors carrying official business is going to do anything that's going to spark a war with Emperor Remos Tarin. Yeah, once we're in sovereign territory and all that. We would be safe. We'd be safe. Until we sail away. Well, by then we can change what this whole ship looks like and change our names a few more times like Wesley keeps doing. Do we know what will happen to the other pieces when we make our escape? Will they remain as volatile and threatening? Not as volatile. It is my understanding that... <sighs> Have you ever played with a magnet? What's a magnet? Yeah. Uh, he <laughs> Kai holds up uh, a, a coin. And I'm gonna cast magnetic projectile. Fuck yes. And it goes, it goes, and just it, small, small uh, metal objects just go, like and nails. just like attached to the coin. Thank you, Master Kai. <laughs> and then he drops it, and it just. Goes, you notice, <laughs> you notice that many nails, many metal objects were attracted to Kai just now. Did it pick up every piece? Not the bigger ones. When the captain leaves, it will bring much of his mistake with him, and with <laughs> it, those following him will chase that. But pieces will remain in Asteria, but your world is marred with ancient meddling magics. It is nothing new. More stories to be forged around them, more legends and tales. Okay, more aberrations space. loose in the dark. They're not all bad. The tortoises are proof enough of that. Some yeah. pieces of this... The way they look at me when they eat their cabbage. Anyway. Within the vessel is possibility. It's not... Despite what you've seen, any motions that you it is not malevolent. It's pure possibility. It is dreams and imagination made real. Fragments manifest in different ways. It's almost hard to quantify, to put into words. There's no ill will in any of them, but they latch on and they grow in that way. And if this were to fail, then what would happen? I'm afraid that we would not have enough time to try again. We wouldn't live to regret it. So we spend another day here. Yeah. Try and make it a sure thing, because... We can't afford to fail. As much as I care for those creatures, like, if we can drag some of those things, like, what's causing that fall, we can make this a much safer place for yeah. a greater number of people. If we can keep the two that I saw on that island away from diminish that power. They were already gathering them, studying them. One more day? Yeah, let's rest. Let's get what we got. I think Kai's got the right of it. I think we all do. I think we need the sure thing. I handle the supplies and I'll handle the repairs. You're more than welcome to a night's rest. But rest assured, that we have a full week's provisions and repair supplies added. While you sleep, I can send out the crew and they will <laughs> do their best. Oh, <laughs> that's all we can ask for, I guess. <laughs> that bad, huh? If their best is anything like what we can do. 
Mm -hmm. I relieve you all of your duties tonight and tomorrow. Take the rest and take the provisions that you need. So the windfall lies in front of you? Yes. I was just pressing the rest button. Oh, I thought you were trying to send me a uh, send me a message yeah. like, check in Discord. Uh, can I go sit next to the heal one hit point a minute turtle? <laughs> we all <laughs> sleep in a turtle tonight. <laughs> Before I go to bed. Yeah, you see Terry in there. He's like, who's a good girl? Who is it? Quartermaster. <laughs> hey Terry. She is a good girl. Hey, look, I know that you gave them hell when they said they had to run away and abandon us. Abandon you where? On, on the island. We're still at the island, are we not? Y'all left for a while. Oh, I've been in here playing with Jane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a okay. good girl. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, was it was it bad? Did y'all win your fight? Uh, y- y- both of those. Great. It was bad, oh, and we won. That's awesome. You want to see something neat? And I just like I guess got a, a big hole in my side. <laughs> You want to talk to Jane, boss? Yeah, I'm going to sit right here for a bit. All right. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> Terry excuses himself. Yeah, I'll go sit in there, too. Oh, thank you so much again for the, the money that we're already talking about plans. and It just means the world to us. You're, you're very welcome. You're a wonderful person. I'm, I'm so glad we found you that, you know, when we did. Thank you. Yeah. Take care of the quartermaster. He looks really fucked up. Yeah, um, I'm not doing so hot myself. And you like her her arms probably a little twisted in the wrong direction. You see his face. He's like, I can't tell, but I'm like sympathy. <laughs> 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 That's fair. It's, like, it's, it's, it's true sympathy. He's there. Um. All right, um, Captain. I'm sorry. Not not that. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Oh, don't let Melagato hear you. Promotion. I just like he just stops and goes, "Is Kai around?" <laughs> it's like I, I'm handing the crystal to Melagato, and we're just like staring at it. <laughs> Mel- <laughs> Melagato kind of throws his brow. <laughs> Brooks, oh, look at the size of this fucker! Whoa! <laughs> what does it do? Aren't you the expert? Yes. And he opens up his secret chest inside of his chest. And he just kind of squishes it in there. Well, that's another one for the books. You lot. Mm. I mean, you lot did amazing. Mm. <laughs> I could not be more proud of what you've accomplished here today. There's another piece, we think, on the island, so... Excellent. It's possible that if we can find it, we can get out with pretty good chances tomorrow. And if you look at it this way... We've already killed the av- we we've already killed the avatar of fury. So, <laughs> I mean, well, if this crystal had anything to do with it, there could be another one, as far as we know. Mm. A little less of less renown. Uh, you killed perhaps. one. Surely you could kill the second. Mm. Well, yes. After some rest, of course. I'm not a monster. <laughs> I am very proud. Thanks. Uh, I'm gonna turn around and leave. Uh, is it what time of day is it now? Is it like getting close to it's, nighttime? Yeah, I guess it's getting close to night after all that. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go to my room. Um, and I, like I take off my armor and I notice on the tabard there's like a new image on it. It, it just looks like um like Serene. It has it's like an elfish looking uh, creature with was it like just blonde hair or mm-hmm. something? Blonde hair. Um, in one of the corners of the tabard. Um, that's right, that's what this does, I forgot. Spooky. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I'll put it away. Uh, well, let's say, as you put away the tabard, you see one of the squares filled in with that beautiful inked mural of Serene. The, the runes on the edge no longer say Seek Victory. It just says Victory, 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 over and over and over again. You're too kind. I found one and wants more. Uh, I might have to wait again before I wear that. That's really heavy. <laughs> and I look at my other armor. This has like a cast iron pot on the front and back. <laughs> Still functional. Still functional. Uh, I'm just going to lay in bed there. Oh, let's talk about dreams. 
fucking dreams. Ismet goes over to Wesley. So, a long lost Dirk. Uh, that's what I've been told. We actually met another vessel who had this book. I like, take my pack and I show him, like, the theology book. Oh, Herald Jewel! <laughs> Family Histories! Ah! Codes of Conduct! Yeah, I've been looking at it for a while. It, it shows me things that I think I'm supposed to know. He's like flipping through with his tail as he holds the book with both hands. You come from a noble lineage. House Arlong of Linda Rimlock, famous for dragon slaying. Is that what they're famous for? <laughs> <laughs> I've never slayed a dragon. I don't want to read it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I've never slept. It makes you feel better. We met a dragon and we actually helped him out. That does breathe some confidence into my heart. I must say, do not take offense, pro, but I may not swear fealty to your house. I fear that their <laughs> morals may not align with my own. <laughs> what makes you say that? I, I wasn't <laughs> expecting you to. We're mostly just stopping in to let my parents know I'm fine, collect a bounty of returning me, and seeing if we can restore my memories. Oh. You missed them, the power. I think so, but I feel like I would need to know them to miss them. It's like I have a desire to see them, but I don't miss them. A deep year, Monk. I must say, um, I don't necessarily miss my parents either. Though, I was born of a great raging flame. So, I guess I don't have parents in the way that you do. But I miss the warmth of its company. And no, that, that sounds a bit more right. I, I definitely have a longing. Like, I feel like there's somewhere I'm meant to be, and I was kind of hoping joining this merchant vessel, we could sail the seas and find exactly where that is. You're merchants! Uh, that's something people have been saying around you. You fight, you fight quite well for merchants. I, I learned it somewhere else. You spoke of that before. I feel you have much of a storied past. I would love to learn one day. I'll tell you but for now, I think I'm gonna go chase some of those dreams. He nods. I must wait for Ernest to tell me where my sleeping quarters are. <laughs> on previous vessels, I was not allowed on the second deck because. Oh. And he, like, he looks at all like of him. <laughs> there was an incident. Oh. Uh, right. Ernie! <laughs> and I'll go down. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I kind of like get up from the turtle bay. Yeah, and and <laughs> you have healed three, four, ten hit points. Sure. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to come find Ismet. All right. Um, so we got a big holding area for animals where... That you'll... would be good for... And he like looks and you see a, a literal fire drake just pacing the deck right now. And like the whole crew is just like... <laughs> I actually haven't really met your uh, compatriot here. What is their name? I don't fucking remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that the thing. I, I, I don't remember what I named. I, I said it in passing. Don't make me pull up that other... Uh... Never ask. Pull up the VOD. Just... It's best that you just address me directly. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I... What we're gonna do over here, there. Or finds it gets a hero point. On the main deck, there is um, a place where we can open up and lower creatures down one deck. So um, I'm just gonna leave that open, and you can like fly in and out if you want. Oh, he doesn't. Sore subject. We've had a. a, a Best not to bridge a conversation. Yeah, my, my mistake. I can see why I'm only supposed to talk to you now. All right, well, we're going to. You can just walk down the ramp there and. 
feel free to get in there. Do not eat the turtles. That's the only rule. Um, and as for you, you're a member of the crew. Most people just kind of sleep in hammocks all in one big hold. Uh, what kind of skills do you have other than fighting? Chivalry. Excellent. I'm excellent at memorizing coats of arms. Uh-huh. House names. Yep. Heraldry. Lineages. Mm hmm You can be our special correspondent for nobility. Sounds delightful. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah, so you're going to also just kind of be a general armsman. Might get some people to show you how to do a couple of jobs, some, tie some knots, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but while I'm here, and I'm just going to lead them down into the holding and like uh -huh. pick a hammock out for them and kind of introduce them to the, you know, the rank and file crew. Mm -hmm. uh, Red Rage comes over to you, Kai, as I walk past. Master Kai. Hmm? There's a fucking dragon. That's kind of cool, isn't it? <laughs> she, like, immediately, kinda like, cool. mm -hmm. yeah, it's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Not that big, honestly. <laughs> I thought it would be bigger. The moment I talk to this guy, he can, uh, I think he can just kind of make fire. Actually, I kind of want to talk to him. Yeah. I, I, I think he'd be into the code. I think he might be uh, a fine new member of the crew. Huh. All right. Sounds great. And she's just going to like go back to her duties, but like... Oh. I was I overheard them just now. Don't talk to the dragon about Flop. He doesn't like that. And she like nods. And then you hear like flintlock next to you like a little too loud oh my god why is that dragon's wings all fucked up <laughs> smack him <laughs> wait he just reached out and kind of backhand him no we're good your name is supposed to be wit not dull <laughs> <laughs> all right where about the rest of us as we settle in sleep sleeping well yeah that, all right everyone sleep yeah we're pretty we're pretty beat up I'm so just it's gonna, probably an early night i'm gonna curl stuff. up with the tortoises and fall okay. asleep Everyone go ahead and heal up. Go ahead and get your spell slots and your preparations. Morning. Mm -hmm. The smell of blood hangs heavy in the air, in the morning mist, almost like it's intertwined with it. Like the dew has the resonance of battle hanging on its every drop. The crew is lively and getting to work. And you can hear other ships, those that remained, which is not many, like three or four other ships, helping people. You can hear people groaning from being injured, but people working. It's no, no longer the hustle and bustle you had when you first came here, but absolutely still like people trying to make something work. Some people just don't know where to go. Others are just trying to go through the motions that make them comfortable, while others are trying to make something of their time here, maybe now explore the island. What do we do on this morning as it finds us? Cordelia, do you think Emerus could do a quick flyover and see if there's like a place to investigate? Big cave or something. So, uh, sort of. I mean, I could certainly send him after it. I would imagine that. And she kind of gestures towards the gaping hole in the <laughs> in the Colosseum. <laughs> I'm sure he left a rather large trail um, That's true. <laughs> yeah okay i see your point that's a good one uh all right yeah let's just we can just follow the footprints but in reverse i mean i can still send him out there to see if you know we'll just scout, we'll scout ahead. ahead sure but, we'll, we'll follow but yeah trail. let's go ahead and follow them the <laughs> footprints y'all just want to like set off get your provisions and everything and set off yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. asap um, as you're going, uh, the smith like looks. He's like, "If you're going to need any additional help on this, just in case there is something else out there lurking that's been empowered." Yeah, probably. I don't want to fight something like Uthra yesterday again. All right. I can see if Ishmet wants to come. I 
think he'll do more than Terry. <laughs> I was going to offer my own services. That'd be nice. Yeah. yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. Honestly, if we do kind of find that crystal and there's something weird going on with it, you're the best person to identify something. But what if we don't find the crystal and something weird comes for the docks? Well, then, then Perhaps he should stay here and make sure nothing goes awry. This is a trick that you're doing. Me? Yeah. I don't trick you guys. Out of character, I have concerns. Fact, why don't Why don't I, Mr. Darrow, and Ismet all follow you? All the strong people in this Yes. Vessel. Here, here in the ocean, nothing bad will ever happen. Okay, this is a trick. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> we know I believe him. He is not allowed to lie. <laughs> he isn't, but he is. <laughs> no. I vote we can take Ishmael, but perhaps leave. See, I like the idea of the Smith coming. But there's no one left to. Ishmael got the boat. He got it. It's all under control. Leave the fire with the gunpowder, though. Yeah. That way, if we have to scuttle the whole damn thing, it'll happen quickly. <laughs> I think having this Smith with us would be valuable. Mm -hmm. And out of character, I want him to come because somehow I think he's safer with us. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, he's perfectly safe wherever he is. That is not true. He's fine. There is like a, a 24th level nut crusher somewhere out there. <laughs> 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 nut crusher. Yeah. That is his class. All right, yeah. His archetype. I'll spring the smith. Someone Mel needs to Mel go. Mel has got the ship under control. He's so responsible. Then are we? Then I guess we're leaving Ishmael. We need somebody capable to look after yeah, we the need ship. Need someone to protect the docks. Then I will stay here. My duty lies to the crew. Wait. Did I get that backwards? Yes. You yeah. Got backwards. Then I will come with you. <laughs> Ish Ishmael. Ishmael will, yeah. Earn his place among the among the crew. If they get attacked, there's just going to be gouts of flame between Ishmael yeah. and Malakata's ring. Just yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't I mean, have to be careful anymore. Yeah, because there's nothing. There's basically nothing left to protect. It's just the people here. Basically, Malakato has to be protected. He should come with us. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're a crazy one. End of the chest. Let's <laughs> let's go get this thing. Yes, uh, let's. So, the party makes their way into uh, the party makes their way into the jungle proper, um, making their way through the docks, seeing the battle-worn like people of uh, from once more, just seeing the destruction that was here, and realizing that yes, we overcame that fury, but not knowing what lies and wait for them the other half of what caused such destruction. You go through a canopy that has been split open through the sheer force of this. A tunnel, bidding you deeper and deeper into the island. I think I'm picking up on the trail, guy. <laughs> <laughs> and one step... Like grab like a snap branch. <laughs> on the right way. One step closer when to solving tree behind it. that mystery. And that's when we're going to go ahead and end our session. We did it. We survived. There we go. By some miracle. Yeah, miracle. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, the music's loud right now. I know that's um, That is going to be it for us today. Um, well, we we'll get still going to see. I guess we're going to use this battle map next time, but it's going to have a what different, do you mean? different guy in it. That's yeah. his layer. That's the other half of the crystal right there. Where? Oh, <laughs> there's like a thing in the middle. Oh. Welcome to level seven. Woo! Yay! Woo! Woo! Harder monsters, harder monsters. No, wait, no, no. wait, 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 wait. Bigger spells, <laughs> bigger <laughs> spells. Everyone go ahead and hit level seven yeah, for get, next session. I get fourth level spells. And I will, Ooh, I get uh, level road. <laughs> I'm excited to see what kind of shenanigans and assholery we get into. Who All right. Never. Thank you, everyone that was here today. Thank you for uh, everyone that's lurking. And everyone, if you're not caught up, please go ahead and check out the VODs and catch up on the story as we kick it into high gear. Kick um, it. I feel like a chapter will be closing soon. Uh, yeah, we're kind of out of this little intro area as soon as y'all make this choice. We tell it to y'all. At any rate, um, we love having you here at our table, and we will see you next time on The Sleeping Sea. Goodbye, y'all. Bye-bye.